Hi everybody! Thanks for joining me in the Cozy Cove today. My name is Nikki and we are going to be looking, taking a first look at Botany Manor. Hang on one second. Sorry about that. The dog had to go for a walk. So, <laughs> like I was saying, uh, this is our first look at Botany Manor. Um, I've been really, really excited to play this game. It is a mystery where you are a retired botanist and we're going to be discovering some mysterious, crazy plants. I'm very excited. Um, I played uh, the demo during a next fest I played the demo at PAX East even though it's the same demo I met the lovely folks at Whitethorn I absolutely love this I'm so excited for this game um, and a lot of the other games are coming out with this year like guys keep keep an eye out there's some good games coming out from Whitethorn this year but I am super excited to play this game it came out yesterday um, so I'm let's dive in I don't I don't want to wait anymore I want to play this game Tell it what controller I'm using. Okay. <laughs> the Moon Studios. Like their games. One of my brand new favorite peoples. <laughs> mm. Let me know if the music is too loud. Mm. Sounds good to me, but I don't want to deafen anybody. Let me know. Let me know, let me know if the music's too loud. Oh, the, the plant is growing while we, while we wait for it to load. Oh, over and over. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was just like slowly going to grow. <laughs> it's a very long loading screen. All right, there we go. 1890 Botany Manor, Somerset. Somerset? I don't know if I said that right. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so I am not the FPS queen here. Uh, this looks good to me. If I'm wrong, sorry. But <laughs> um, considering I played it on a, the demo on a computer, this looks good to me. Um, I wasn't sure what to expect with a Switch port because I've seen some really good ones and I've seen some really bad ones. And I'm not going to call out any games specifically. But, um, this looks pretty good. I, I'm happy with this. Mm. It doesn't bother me when I'm playing it, so hopefully it doesn't bother you guys. But it doesn't bother me. I like it. Alright. Lady Arabella, we're so happy to have you back at Botany Manor. I had to go with the British because we're in Somerset. I don't know if this is a Somerset. It's a London accent. I don't know what Somerset sounds like. But, um, I hope you had a lovely trip. In your absence, I'm afraid some things in the manor have deteriorated. Lovely. Though I can assure you, we tried our best to keep things in order. Oh, hang on. I can't actually read it well. Sorry. I hope it doesn't affect your research too much today, Bennett. Or research. If anybody remembers uh, Dorothy Ann. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, so we're going to collect the parcel. The parcel. I love it. Arabella Green, Botany Manor, Sunset. It looks so pretty. The Forgotten Flora. I want this book. It looks so pretty. Oh, how do I open it? Okay. I'm not going to try and say that word. I don't know how to say that word. I can barely read that. I think it says, oh, Mayflower Publishing House. Okay. That was hard to read for some reason. Um... 
somewhere London. I think it says Bedford something square. I, I can't. I can't read it. It's very small. Established 1849, let's say. I don't, I don't know if that's right. I know no one cares about the publishing house, but I, I want to read it. <laughs> Dear Aravella Green, thank you once again for submitting your book proposal, Forgotten Flora. Please send this empty... Oh, I have to read it. <laughs> herbarium is the best way I could say that. Because herb, herbarium, we're, we're, we're in the UK, it's herb. Um, back to us once you have completed your research and we'll be in touch with a potential offer. Sincerely, Mayflower Publishing House. Yeah, oh, if I'd read the, the dang thing, I would have seen that it says Mayflower. I still can't read the other things. All right. What's next? Forgotten Flora, researched and compiled by Arabella Green. Uh, Mayflower Publishing House, 1890. Okay. Oh. Okay, so we got five chapters? Question mark? Will more pop up? I wonder. I don't know. Grounds, ground floor. Okay, we got nothing right now. Okay, so there's two floors. Well, three floors of the ground floor. So three floors and then the grounds themselves. And... Okay, fresh start. We gotta, we gotta find some clues. We gotta find a lot of things because this is an empty book. They okay, weren't kidding. Oh, chapter two. Oh wow, a lot of chapter three clues. Oh, whoa. Okay. I imagine these blank pages are the where the plants will actually be, the flora themselves, and then the clues obviously are how. Well, obvious to me because okay, no, that's the end of the book because I played the demo that'll give us the clues to how to um, find the lovely for forgotten floras. Okay, so let's close the book up because there's nothing in it yet and we gotta get out of this room. I do remember that much from the demo. I do not remember the exact answers to the puzzle, so I, I'm sorry if I am not smart today and puzzles take a while, but we're gonna try. Um, I know, yeah, this is a, definitely a puzzle game, by the way. I don't think I said that, sorry. Let's see, how do I get out of this room? Because I don't remember. I'm kind of happier not remembering, honestly. Because I played the demo a couple times. I'm kind of happy I don't remember. Because um, it literally is like brand new then. Because I don't remember the answers. Nope. Do I just interact with the door? Is it the next room that I have to get out of? I don't remember. Oh, it's the next room. I'm sorry. I'm smart. See? Yeah. Okay. This is the one with the clues and the, mm -hmm. the flowers. See? There we go. Wildflowers. Okay. Um, I believe it was the windmill wart for this part. I think that was the first flower. I'm remembering little bits and pieces as I'm as I'm going through it. Yeah, windmill wart. Okay, clues. Important clues get added to the er herbarium. Er herbarium. Yeah, that word's gonna trip me up the entire stream. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, where you can assign them to plants. If you're stuck, tracking clues can help you organize and validate your research. Alrighty. Also, I apologize again in advance for whenever the Poochie has to come back from her walk. Um, and I will go, I will probably have to BRB for a moment on that as well. Um, all right, I haven't filled in all the right clues for this plant. Yeah, I have, I have no clues. Or do I? Oh, I have the wildflower clue. Right, I just got that. Okay. So I want to see, no, sorry, I want to grow the windmill wart to f uh, filter the smoggy air in my conservatory. But I'll need to research its temperature requirements first. <laughs> Hi, welcome in. Uh, how do you say your name? Is it Lingui Two? Lingui. Anyway, but that's funny. Yeah, some some games you can. That's kind of nice, honestly. About sometimes you can replay games because you just don't remember. So it's kind of fun. Um, even some games that don't have replay value. It's like if you haven't played the story in so long. Oh, it's Linguini. Uh -huh. I love Linguini. <laughs> but yeah, so if you don't remember the story because you played it a while, I mean, some, some even some like storyline games, like very linear stories can be replayed. So it's kind of fun. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so I, I know I have to look, whoops, I know I have to look at temperatures. Here we go. Um, I think it was Sicily. I mean, the, all the answers are here, so I'll find them anyway. Doo -doo -doo. It was over here. Oh, that's the heat vent, right? That's to actually grow the plant. Whoops, I went too far down. Controls are definitely probably easier and on a computer to just point and click point and click on a controller is, is interesting But I still prefer playing with controllers. <laughs> yeah, I, I figured you'd like Linguini if you chose the name. That's it's yummy. It's always it's always a good It's a good thick pasta 
Somerset falls victim to industrial smoke. I can barely see. Horse bus drivers refuse to work in this condition. The poor horses. Oh my goodness. September 19th, 1890. And I love how the rest of it is just completely like. <laughs> That's all you need to know. There's smog. <laughs> okay. Pretty postcard from Mary Ann. Dearest Arabella, I'm going to have the worst time reading today. Oh my goodness, things are small. <laughs> On my hike, I came across the windmill wart, a flower that only grows in Sicily. Yeah, I was right. It was Sicily. Okay. Some locals uh, told me the flower has air purifying qualities, but due to its bespoke temperature requirements, the plant rarely blooms. Maybe the flower could help uh, with the smog pollution in your conservatory. Your friend and peer, Marianne. Okay. Thank you very much. So it was, whoa, there are trees everywhere. I mean, duh, but I ran into it. Okay, so Sicily, uh, volcanic flower, do, 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 it's 60 degrees Celsius. Please do not ask me to convert that into Fahrenheit. I will need the computer. I cannot do that off the top of my head. I have no idea what it is. Um, windmill wart, yes, the volcanic flower, it's 60 degrees Celsius. Cool. So now, where are the seeds again? Where are the seeds? Seedies, where are you? Plants, plants, plants. Over there. That's where the seeds are. Oh my goodness. We got a million pots. Okay, collect seeds. Yay. Oh, I should probably add the clues in. That would that would be helpful. <laughs> I'm just collecting clues, but I'm not adding them in. <laughs> Oops. Alright, temperature chart. Oh, I think the dog is coming back. Hang on. Am I right? Maybe it's someone else's dog? I don't know. Okay, add clue. Postcard. All right, so we got all the pretty clues for for the first part. Um, cool, close, fun little tutorial. Okay, uh, can I get the seeds? Do I have? Oh no, I have the seed. Right, I collected it. Okay, potting instructions. I mean, it's fairly self-explanatory. Sure, soil. <laughs> Do I have the... Do, oh, I actually have the garbage room. Okay, so I collected it, but I don't have it on me. <laughs> Check. Forgot about that. Okay. And water. And now we grab the pot. Whee! And we have to change the temperature. Uh, so we're going to put the pot down. I know the temperature's over here. Oh, wait. I should probably look at what it's at first. <laughs> oh, God. It's really low. Okay. Nope. Wrong way. That way. Oh yeah, 60. Okay. And push. Hey, it's growing. <gasps> Look how pretty. I think this looks really pretty on the Switch. Wow. All right. I like it. All right, and it's clearing up all our fog. Look at that. Now we can see out our window. <laughs> Yay. Tutorial complete. Okay. The windmill wart naturally grows in volcanic soil, which is why it requires a soil temperature of 60 degrees Celsius. The bud contains air purifying qualities, so the flower can filter its environment from dense smoke. Nice. Oops, wrong button. <laughs> okay. Now we can go outside. Ooh. I love this color of purple. It's just a pretty shade of purple. <laughs> Also, something funny I did during, when I was playing the demo, and I don't know why, um, I just sat. I just sat for a while and literally just looked at it. They made it so aesthetically pleasing. I mean, there's birds. There's bird sounds. This game is so chill. Okay. <laughs> there's nothing over here, though, that I... Oh, wait, there's something here. What is this? Hello. Drawing from nature. What's this? I mean, it's a book, obviously, but can I, can I open the book? No? Okay. Why can I not open the book? Okay. Who's, who's left this here? I mean, didn't I just get back and like nobody was here? Like who, who left that? Okay. Nothing that way. All right. This was all still, this is all still demo, um, stuff. This is all still stuff that was part of the demo. I did not play ahead. And replaying everything. So it's gonna take us a little bit. She walks slow, she's older. <laughs> she's retired, she's older. <laughs> Look, little, little people. Look at the manor. So these are all just the grounds. 
we're gonna walk over to the manor. Oh, no we're not, it's locked. Haha. <laughs> I forgot about that. Okay. How do I unlock it again? Oh, there there are keys at the uh-huh. I mean they have a guard house. Like these people were rich or like in danger. I don't know. <laughs> Botany Manor, home of the Green family. The G's missing. Wait, we're the Reen family now. <laughs> what happened to my G? Okay. I'm currently busy researching. Please leave all deliveries in the gay house and ring the bell. Arabella. Yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> is she busy or does she just really not want guests? <laughs> Which one is it, guys? Okay, so I got entrance garden. Cool. Why did it open the book again, though? I'm unclear as to why the book opened for that, but that's okay. Okay, so we got a post box. Empty box. Uh, that's her note, and I can ring the bell myself. I don't know why I'm gonna ring the bell, but I can ring the bell too. Alright. Let's go. Now we can go to the mayor. <laughs> Forgot I had to grab a key for it. Whoops. I'm walking into bushes. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, hello? There we go. Yay! Alright. I love this view. Happy music. Please let me know if the music's too loud. It sounds loud to me, but I have it up in my ear. I don't know if it's loud for you, too. Can I go this way? Can I, can I go this way? Hello? You saw an A. Point and click is hard. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Uh, oh, there's an orchard. Okay. Well, that's locked still, but that's cool. I did not do a lot of exploring when I did the demo. I very much played through it, so I have not explored yet. So we're going to see what's in this game as we play. I thought that was an owl. I'm like, is there an owl out in the middle of the day? <laughs> Never mind. Alright, um, more plants. Well, more planters. Compost bin. Okay. Um, how do I... Duck! <laughs> I love it. Can I, just, I just picked up the duck. Okay. I don't think it has any purpose. I just picked it up, because I could. Alright, in we go. Oh, I remember this! It's like a disease tree. This tree is... A little creepy, not gonna lie. Hi, Shy. Welcome in. Thank you for coming. Yeah, this this tree is like this, this tree kind of creeps me out. It, it's disease looking, and it, I feel bad for it. Like, can I help that tree? I don't know if I can, but so this game is Botany Manor, and it is a puzzle game where it's a puzzle like mystery game. You have to find the clues and in order to grow the plants correctly. Um, we're also gonna find out about her family along the way um, and their mysteries. So, sounds like a lot of fun. I've played it, I played the demos and I love them. Uh, demo, it's, it's one demo. I said it like plural because I've played it twice, but it's the same demo. Um, so Lady Arabella Green, I'm pleased to let you know that your family tree is complete, carefully tracing the history of your lineage. As per your request, I have altered the customary presentation, now displaying the maiden names of the ladies in your family, rather than their current. Yeah, it does, it is, I hope it's as fun as it sounds, Shy. It, it was fun when I played the demo, so. I kind of love how she was like, put their maiden names in, like, no one cares who they marry. <laughs> Just she's have it with their maiden names. Can I zoom? Oh, I can zoom. Okay. Oop, I have to hold it to zoom. Check. Okay, good to know. So, where am I? There I am, right in the middle. Okay. Middle bottom. Arabella Mary Green. 1835. Obviously, I'm still alive. 35. So, I'm 55? Did I do that math right? <laughs> I'm not a math person. Um... And I have a sister, Elizabeth Ann Green. Okay. I wonder if we're going to see anybody from her family. Or is this just a clue for something else? I don't, I don't know. All right, we're going to see. So we're collecting clues. Oh, I just sat in the chair. I keep forgetting the chair. You can sit in the chairs. It's not what I want to do. I want to actually play the game. I know there's something over here. Oh, what's this? Dark Moor poster. 
What is this? Travel by train. It's just an advertisement? Okay. I have an advertisement in my house. Somebody in my family make it? Okay. Was it this way? I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> what the? Pyrophiles book. Oh. Oh, fun. Okay. Fire has the potential to be among the most devastating forces of nature. Despite this, humans have developed the ability to invent, wield, and attempt to manage it. Meanwhile, certain species in the plant kingdom have evolved to adapt and flourish in the face of fire. Oh, maybe this is a clue. In areas where forest fires occur frequently, pyrophiles have learned to rely on fire as a crucial part of their life cycle. Facts about pyrophiles. Their seeds typically possess tough shells. Okay. And some pyrophiles only bloom when surrounded by smoke, um, smoke, aromes, aromes from their natural habitat. Okay, I was thinking like aroma, aromes. That has to be a clue, right? How do I open the book again? Well, there we go. Uh, okay, wait. What is? Wait, this is thunderstorm. This might be a tough case to crack. Uh. It's called an ash plume, and it says it might be a tough case to crack. To, to me, that's hinting that the seed is tough. So maybe this is the pyrophiles one. So let's do that and see it. I'll have a right, but we'll see. Oh, that. Oh, so that was a clue? The heck is the clue on this thing? Hold on. Nope, we're going back. The heck is the clue on here? The place? Dartmoor, all the year round, home to breathtaking sights. What the heck? All right. Uh, eventually, I'm sure it'll become clear what that's for, but right now, I have no idea. Is the kitchen open? I want food. Nope. <laughs> it's like, they said, figure it out. <laughs> you get no food. Okay. So, I know the family tree is there. Oh, what's that? Oh, okay. Taunt. Isn't that what was uh, on the poster also? Did it say Taunton somewhere? I don't know. Let's see. Um, to London Penny. Or maybe, th maybe this is just my... I don't know. I think this is just my ticket because I just got home. <laughs> I think I'm overthinking things. I don't know. We'll see. I'm over puzzling the puzzle game. <laughs> Hold on. Ah, oh, this tree. I hate that tree. <laughs> it's in the middle of my house. I really hope it improves by the end of the game. I'm going to be sad if that tree still looks like that by the end of the game. Arabella's parents. I love it. It's just a silhouette. We have no idea what they look like. Very old school. Okay, we got seeds. There we go. And I know this one definitely um, was done in the demo also, so I know this one, I don't remember the exact clues, but I know this one will be, um, it's an early one. I'm glad it's not just one flower per level. I mean, I only found two so far, but that's a lot of clues. Uh, I don't know, but then again, there's, all of these take a lot, I don't know. I, I don't know. If it was one flower per level, I'd be kind of sad. But, or one plant. Dark photo. What did that one say? Blurry photo. And well-lit photograph. I know those are close. Can't do anything there. Bing. All right, let's... Sorry if I make anybody dizzy, by the way. <laughs> I, I know I've heard that happens in this game because it's first person. Um, I'm going to try my best not to go too erratic with the uh, camera, but uh, sometimes I'm just trying to look around and I'm, I forget. So, oh wait, there's a, who the heck put a combination lock on the damn library? <laughs> on the library? But, but that's my place. You locked me out of my own place. Excuse me, let me into my library. How rude. Okay, what's this? Can I get in here? I can't. Oh, the disease tree part two. Great. We get to see it up high now. Okay. And we can't get by here yet because the disease tree. Okay, so it has to get by. It's blocked by the tree. It has to do something. Either it gets cut down or it gets in healthy. I don't know. Ooh, look at the pretty skylight. That's pretty. Okay. So I can't do anything up here at the moment. Um, let me back in here. And we're going to put the photographs in because that is absolutely cool. Oh, hang on.
Sorry, guys. Now the poochie came back. Okay, now we should be fine. Okay, anyway, it's just really, really loud with the door and everything, so. Okay. Down we go. All right. Um, did I go this way? I did not. The door's closed. Can I go this way? Better question. Okay, I can. Oh, right, this is where, okay, this is where everything is. Um, blah, blah, blah. this is how I, yep, I need to remember, I don't remember the ingredients. I have to find a big clue for it. Um, hang on. The art of painting in oil and fresco. Okay. We're not painting, but thank you. I don't know if that's a clue or not, but we'll see. Uh, I know I have to come back in here to make the flash powder. I remember that. Uh, where the heck do I find the ingredients for the flash powder is the question. Because I don't remember. Um, blah, blah, blah. Nope, that's just another chair. Is it this? Uh, nope, this. At least not. Well, maybe. It's a folklore book. Uh, botanical folklore tales. Fol folk tales. Blah. I can't speak today. <laughs> Some ancient Celtic tribes practiced a coming-of-age ritual. This meant that when someone was considered old enough, it was time to prove themselves worthy of staying in the tribe. One of these rituals involved picking a flower in the woods, though not just any flower, of course. The gatherer had to find a fulguria, I don't know if that's how you say it or not, for this flower is known to only bloom during thunderstorms. Okay, so once again, it's another clue for the um, for that flower, but I, I still don't know how to do the flash powder yet. Keeping a cool head while lightning flashes were striking left and right of you was considered the ultimate test of courage. Also known as the ultimate test of stupidity. But that's okay. <laughs> that seems really dangerous. Let's not do that, please. Okay, so the folklore book goes in here. Is there anything else? No. No. Okay. And there's nothing else in here. Alright, next room. Ah, here we go. This is where the photograph gets taken. Uh, oh, no. Okay, but where's the clue that tells me how to make the flash powder? Is it this? No. Oh, look, it's a picture of me and my sister. That's cute. I can rotate it. It always makes me think something's going to be on the back. That's not always the case, but too much Ace Attorney. I'm like, I need to turn this every which way. <laughs> Here it is, the flash lamp. Okay. Oh no, that's just telling me how to use it. I know how to use it. You just put it in and bing, take a picture. Uh, did I, like, take a picture last time? What the? My glasses, I assume they're mine. I don't know. They look like, like a certain wizard's glasses. <laughs> oh, another key. Uh, back terrace. Okay, good to know. Is there anything in this? This one? No. I have to look in every bowl now. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, Lady Arabella, these past few weeks, I have been seeing lots of bright flashes coming from the back room of your house. Who was in my house? Okay, whatever. I thought I just got here. Nobody was here. Um, it scares my cows immensely as they think a storm must be coming. My milk production has taken a hit because of this, and if you enjoy fresh milk in your morning cup of tea, I would advise you to keep the flashes to a minimum. <laughs> Farmer Charles. We've upset Charles. I'm sorry, Charles. There we go. Flash powder. Watson. It's empty. Does it tell me what's in it? Here we go. I'm blind. Okay. It's potassium and magnesium. Here we go. That, that's what I needed. Thank you very much. Finally found it. All right. So we're adding that. We're adding this. I have no idea what the last clue is right now. Oh, it's the... Okay, I didn't see that there was more. Sorry. It was the second page of clues. All right. So now we have all our clues. I can go back into the other room where all those lovely and dangerous chemistry bottles are. I kind of love this setup. This is kind of really cool. It was potassium and magnesium. So we're going to add potassium. I don't know how much of each... I don't even know if it said, to be honest. I, does it matter? Question mark? Like, that sounds really stupid because it's chemistry, so of course it matters. But, like, I don't think it told us. Oops. I hit Y. And now we're at the index. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, 
and I can't actually zoom in on okay so I'm I'm gonna say this is right we're, we're gonna go with it and hope for the best uh, hold on. oh wait nope it's over here do, 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 do. all right and we're just gonna oop, do that Ta -da. all right and we're gonna close it up and I wish I could put the flask down here but I have to go all the way back Although I guess I shouldn't dirty her house, right? Like she keeps a neat house. So let's let's whoops. So let's put it back where it where it came from. Um assuming I did things right, which is a really big assumption by the way, please don't assume I did it right. Um <laughs> we're gonna find out in a second though. Um we're gonna plant the plant. Okay. And we need oop, oh, hello. There we go. That that's the seed. And we water it. So this is, I think this was all there was in the demo, if I remember correctly. It was just the first two plants. Um, so if I remembered and done this correctly and followed the clues, um, we can move on to something that I've not seen yet, because I have seen all this already. I'm just walking into walls into my house. Don't, don't mind me. I'm just walking into walls. Okay. Come on. We put it there. And now um, we... Do you have to do anything with this? I don't remember. Nope. Okay. And now we take the picture. Oh. Nope. I did something wrong. I did something very wrong. <laughs> okay. See? This is this is how I said. I don't know. Alright. What did I miss in the bottle? Oh. I'm stupid. It says a 2 to 1 ratio. I knew something was wrong because when I made it, I was like, I feel like there was, there was more than just the 1 and 1. Okay. Two potassium, one magnesium. Let's try that again. My bad, guys. See? Reading is fundamental, and I only read part of it. <laughs> okay. Two parts potassium. There we go. One part magnesium. There we go. Will it tell me what it is? No? Okay, just... I can just look at it closer, apparently. Cool. It'd be cool if it actually told you what you made. <laughs> Because if I want to just mix other things, can you tell me what it is? Because I don't know what it is. I also don't know if I'm going to burn my house down trying that, but let's let's not. Okay, let's close that. Can I just take the picture first? I wanna, oh, I can't put it down there. Okay. Yay. Look, <gasps> look, guys. Now I did it right. Yay. I love that plant. That was, that's a fun plan. I, I just love, that was like my favorite thing in the demo. I was like, oh my god, it looks so magical. Um, the Fulguria only grows during thunderstorms where the flashes of lightning provide the brightest light. The flower needs to bloom. Because, that sounded so weird the way I read it because I can barely see. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I promise I can read. Because of its dangerous growing conditions, not many people have witnessed its beauty. Okay. Very, very pretty. Let's get a closer look. Pretty. Hello. And we just made. Oop. I don't know if I should pick it up or not. Oh, yeah, I could inspect the seedling. Oh. Cool. Am I just supposed to leave them around my house? Like, do they. I wonder if they end up somewhere. Like, did they go to the greenhouse later? I don't know. Alright. Did we find any more clues while we were trying to figure that out? No. Just the poster and. I have no clue yet. Okay. I wonder where the back terrace is. There's so many doors in this house. I don't know which one will take me to the back terrace. And I haven't seen a door that says that yet. To my knowledge. I know the kitchen was locked and the library has a weird padlock on it. A weird combination padlock. Feels like an escape room. Can, can I get into the room? I don't know. Alright. Uh, let's try the other side of the house. Wait, no, I was over here already. I tried the kitchen. That was locked. Where's the back terrace? Is it this? Yeah, there it is. Okay, what's this one? Oh, the painting room. Is that open? Or is that also locked? No, it's also locked. Okay. Cool, cool. So we unlock the back terrace now. Yeah, I definitely did not do all this in the demo. I think in the demo, after you um, make that last flower bloom, it, um, ooh, locked from the other side. Okay. It uh, takes you to the front gates, like someone's dropping something off. And that's just the end of the demo. 
Yeah. Here, we'll prepare the, the pot. <laughs> Anybody see any clues? Any clues anywhere? No? Okay. No clues there. Man, who left food out? Okay. Someone was really dirty in my house. <laughs> and I don't think it was me because I just got a train ticket home. So someone left a mess. All right. Flowering Plants of Great Britain by Anne Pratt. Okay. I know that's just sitting... Okay. Doesn't look like there's much of anything up here. So we're going to have to work our way down. I like the aesthetic, but then, like, a small part of me wants her to run. <laughs> Which I guess is asking a lot of a almost six-year-old woman. <laughs> but, um, I think some six-year-olds run, to be fair. But what is, is that just dirt? And I'm thinking it's a... It looked like her glasses. <laughs> That's me. It literally looked like her glasses. Okay. Okay, here we go. Mm, seed log. A summary of some seeds I've gathered this year and the location I found them at. Cow parsley. Okay. Blackdown Hills, Poppy, Cheddar Gorge, Cheddar, there's cheese in the gorge, okay, Buttercups, Stiart Marches, I don't know if I said that right, oh, the Ash Plume, Whitman's Wood, we know that one's one of the ones we got to grow, because it's already in my book, Wood Anemone, Hallford Comb, so that one's from the Wisman's Woods, I think that was on that poster also, I think I saw, I saw something wood, so it's probably that, okay, so all those are clues for that, that flower check. Wild Time, Cold Bone Wood, and Foxglove. I think it says Ford Abbey. I think so. <laughs> I almost read Cold Bone as Cubone. <laughs> Too much Pokemon. Check. Okay, so here's the seed that I needed. Mm hmm. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And these, I believe, are all clues for it. Okay, so I I'm still, I'm still missing four clues. Jeez. Okay. I thought it was five for a second, but I saw it wrong. Okay. Where the heck are the other clues? Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Is this also locked from the other side? Formal garden. Okay, it's locked. What well, it makes it formal? Formal garden. Okay. Ooh, what's this? My dear friend Arabella. May, oh, 5th of May, 1890, Rosewood House. Ooh. A friend of mine visited the Americas and brought back a pair of fabulous gray squirrels. Why are we transporting squirrels across the ocean? They are the latest trend in garden decorate. Oh, okay, that's better. <laughs> All of my neighbors have sent for them as well. It was a great investment that two squirrels have now. What? Have now. Oh, there we go. Started a big family and my garden is full of the darling little... Wait, were they decorations or are they real? I'm, I'm more confused now. Are these squirrels real? Did, did they transport live squirrels across the ocean and now they're populating in England? Did, did, did we just bring a new species to England? Is that what they're saying? Cause it's not, that's what it sounds like. One thing I did notice is that I haven't seen a red squirrel in my garden for some time now. How odd. You must visit soon and see the squirrels for yourself. Ever yours, Grace. Okay, Grace. I'm sure that's a clue. For one, I don't know, but that's really hilarious. No, we're not. In, we're not in America, shy. We're in Somerset, England. That's where the game takes place. We're in England. Okay. So I found that. Let's see. Where else are we going? Hi, welcome in. If you guys just got here, we're playing Botany Manor. We finally finished all the demo stuff, so now we're moving on. Uh, locked from the other side again. Everything is always locked from the other side. How annoying. Okay. What's in here? Uh, she's cooking out here? <laughs> oh, another key. I just noticed it after I hit A. Hazel Patterson. Kitchen notes. Thursday. Jimmy broke another mortar. That boy really needs to learn how to grind spices without breaking down my kitchen. <laughs> Lady Arabella may not, uh, may not be best pleased. <laughs> I can't read. Um, with me asking for a new one. The last mortar took years to be sorted. Oh my god, what? She is so scatterbrained, always off on her fancy research trips. Shopping list, flour, eggs, milk, leeks, potatoes, and carrots. Okay, well, I'm here now. Is that the kitchen key? Yep, that makes sense, I guess. Alright, so maybe the rest of the clues are in the kitchen. Because I think I've run out of space here? Yeah, yeah, there's nowhere to go here. Okay, 
See the kitchen? What I really want to do is get into the library, but I guess we're going to go to the kitchen. I mean, I like food, too. Food is good. Oops. Yeah, half this stream is going to be me running into walls. Because <laughs> this is just so fun. <laughs> not pointed perfectly. I'm just like, I'm just going to run into the wall now. Wait, the window's open. What? Can I get in? <laughs> Can I sneak in? Wait, there's another key. Can I get the key? Can I do anything? This is mean. Why would they do this to me? <laughs> this is actually cruel. Why would you do this? Hold on. Hold, hold the phone. My window is actively open, but I cannot stick my hand in there and open it further and take the key. Why? Why not? Make it make sense. Why not? Okay. That's that's just mean. Okay. So now we go all the way back down the hall. Whoops. Running into everything possible, apparently. And kitchen key. Hello. Hello. Point and click is hard. Point and click is hard on the controller. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it's going to be my whole gripe, this, this whole stream. Ooh. It's a proper downstairs kitchen. Very, very old English a little bit. Okay. Oh, is there more? Oh, there's more. There was, oh, God. 20 things lit up. What are all these? Oh, these are... Okay, these are weights. Okay, so I'm going to have to weigh something. Okay, I got a scale. What's that? Mysterious symbol. Thank you. Thank you very much. That tells me nothing more than I knew two seconds ago before I clicked it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I'll come back for the weights, I guess, because I don't know what I'm weighing yet. Um, but that's good. Okay. Uh, what's that? Am I supposed to be able to read that? It's a religious blessing. Is this actually relevant? Is this an actual clue? I'm so confused. Okay. Um, doo -doo -doo. Hazel's priceless recipes. Did, does she think they're priceless, or does someone else actually think they're priceless? Because that's two very different things. For the home farm workshop and every department of human endeavor. Okay. Roasted chestnuts. Ooh. Oh, that's the only page. I literally thought this was going to be a whole cookbook. It's just roasted chestnuts. This is a simple recipe perfect to warm those cold winter nights. You can use any edible chestnut. They are easily forged. The main difficulty with chestnuts is that they have a tough shell. Oh, that sounds familiar, doesn't it? But luckily, they're easy to crack open with the help of fire. Oh, that sounds very familiar. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, are we growing a chestnut tree? Is that what's happening? Simply place the nuts in a pan above the fire and wait until you hear a pop. This means that your chestnuts are nicely roasted and ready to eat. See, now I want roasted chestnuts. Why, why have we done this to me? I want roasted chestnuts. Okay. It is not winter in New York yet. <laughs> I cannot get them easily. Oh, we're back to Dartmoor again. Uh, the professor will present... I can't read half of that. Given by a resident natural history professor. Uh, Society of Historian, I imagine. Uh, I can't read the whole thing. Monthly lecture open to all society members. I guess she's a member. How the moor was once covered in majestic forests and woods. How easy... No, how early, excuse me, settlers come to the area and... Flip, cleared most of the trees for pasture using fire as their method of choice. Oh, fire again. I, why don't they let me zoom in on this? This is harder to read. It promises to be a fascinating, fascinating story of how the moorland we know and love today came into existence. Next lecture, new members. All blank. Okay. Oh no, the broken mortar. <laughs> we found it. Oh no. Look at it. It's broken. All right. <laughs> I don't know if that's relevant, but it's broken. She's not wrong. Why don't they let me zoom in on letters? Okay. Dear Lady Green, we received your letter applying to study botany at our College of Natural Sciences along with your enclosed drawings. We do not at present and have never admitted women to study at the college. Oh, I forgot what year it was. Okay. <clears throat> botany is a serious science. I am a serious scientist, excuse me. Um, conducted in, labor in laboratories and lecture halls. By all means, continue to pursue your hobby 
tending to your garden. Wow. They couldn't be more rude if they tried. Wow. Uh, and domestic space, where it may be appreciated. Dude. Dude. Wow. Uh, positions at the college are reserved for serious scholars whose studies will go on to be well utilized in a career in botanical experimentation. Wow. Therefore, with all politeness. None of this was polite. When were you polite? We do not offer these valuable positions to amateurs that should otherwise be taken up by genuine academics. Signed, Professor John... Uh, I don't even know. Altringham? Well, Mr. Altringham, you can stuff this somewhere where your plants would never grow because they'd be lacking sunlight. Anyway. <laughs> uh, wow. Can I burn the letter? Oh, it's under, it's in kindling. I just got it. <laughs> I just realized. <laughs> That's accurate. That is where it belongs. <laughs> I want to burn it. Okay, uh, I already saw all that stuff. Are these clues? Are there any more clues? The cooking book. Oh, okay. And the lecture. Yep, all this is going together. Okay, so I'm missing two more clues still. Two clues, guys. Two clues. What they are? No clue. Uh, okay. I don't see anything here that I can do. Can I go out this way? I can. Okay. Okay, there's more. Uh, what the? What's this? Oh, romantic card is someone special. Oh. Oh. Hold on. My my butler and or groundsman, I don't know what he is, but the guy that, that had a note at the gate uh, is with my chef. I got some... Okay. We got some Bridgerton drama happening here. All right. <laughs> my brain is not working on the other extremely famous English drama <laughs> right now because I'm tired. I worked all day. I, I'm tired. Yeah, that's spicy. That's tea, right? Okay. Somebody help me. I look stupid. What is the name of that damn show? <laughs> all right. Um, dearest Hazel, I picked you some roses from the garden to cheer you up. Aw, when you're done with your work in the kitchen, would you like to meet me for a cup of tea in the back garden? The pond is lovely this time of year. Warm regards, Mr. Bennett. Aww, that's adorable. Look at how cute they are. And I'm just spying. I'm just looking at her. I mean, it's my house. Am I spying? But I'm like just reading her card, but she left it out in the open. I, I don't know. I don't know if I should feel bad or not, but... I mean, yeah, I can. <laughs> okay, so properly read. Properly read. Dearest Hazel, I picked you some roses from the garden to cheer you up. When you're done with your work in the kitchen, would you like to meet me for a cup of tea in the back garden? The pond is lovely this time of year. Warm regards, Mr. Bennett. There. Done properly for Shan. Anyway. <laughs> um, I think my throat's going to get tired if I actually read everything in a British... Well, I could try. We'll see. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Can't. Downton Abbey. Sorry, it just came to me finally. I'm like, what was the name of the show? Okay, thank you. We're having some Downton Abbey tra uh, drama. I said trauma. Jesus. <laughs> maybe it's trauma. I don't know. Maybe, maybe one of them isn't alive anymore. I don't, I don't know. I don't know anything about this game yet. We're finding out. The ancient oaks stand tall in Wistman's Wood. Oh, we're back at Wistman's Wood again. Important, important clues. Covered in moss, they withstood the test of time. Ooh. Though none can tell the sorrows that did befell those trees in Wistman's Wood. Oh, it's a poem. Duh. It says poem. Very cute. Okay. Another duck to pick up. Because I can. Oh, this one has blue on it. I love it. That one's cute. Okay. Wait. Look, there's a matching picture. What? Okay. <laughs> that is not relevant in the slightest, but it was very interesting to me. Okay. Uh, anything here? Anything here? Boots. Lovely. Love it. They really put so many little things in. So cool. Like, did the boots need to be there? No. Did it go with the aesthetic? Yes. Wait, okay. The clue said oak logs, right? Question mark. Oh, I'm still missing one. <gasps> I'm still missing a clue. Dang it. Okay. 
Mm. And it won't show me the actual clue anymore, like, unless I go look at it. I think it's an oak log. I'm not going to grab it right now. I like, I love how these are all separated, too. It's either oak or birch. I forgot what I read, but... I know it wasn't cherry because this is like my favorite. This is one of my, this is like my second favorite wood. And I knew it wasn't cherry because it's, it's pretty. Okay. Um, yeah, yes, I have a favorite wood. <laughs> it's very weird, but it's very pretty. And yeah. Okay. Home smoking and curing. Ooh, are we making beer? Are we making barbecue? Are we, are we making bar American barbecue in 1890 England? <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Using the home smokery. Oh, okay, cool. The type of wood to use in your smokery is of great importance. Oh, I can zoom. Okay, let me not strain my eye. Uh, my eyes are going to be tired by the end of this game. Though which one to pick depends entirely on your personal tastes and preferences. Burning wood from different types of tree produces different smoke aromas. This is due to different chemical compositions in each type of smoke and has a great impact on the flavor, flavor, I love it, flavor of your smoke food. So in summary, choose your wood logs with care. Thank you. Very handy. And that should theoretically be my last clue. Please. Oop. Wrong button. Down. Thank you. Boop. Boop. Hello. Next. Next page. There we go. Smoking book. Yay! All right. Give me the information. No. Oh. Dang it. Okay. Mm. Okay. Which one told me? Damn. Which one told me which wood it was? Man, I need them to like recap everything I read. <laughs> There's a lot of clues, and you gotta, like, remember it all. What the heck is this? Smoked food. Uh, that doesn't look like food, my friend, but okay. If you say so. I don't know what it looks like, but it doesn't look like food. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna have to go back to one of the clues. I don't remember which one. Hang on a second. I also have to find where I left that potted soil. I think it was in the back terrace. Let me see really quick. Um, the lecture. Yeah. Okay. Oops. Nope. Where did it say what woods were there? It just says it's covered in wood. Great, but one of them told me what kind of wood. I don't remember where that was. I still didn't use the weight either, so that must be for a different plant I haven't discovered yet. Um, I mean, I don't technically have to go all the way back. I can just go right here and do it from here. It really doesn't matter. We just do a new pot. That's all that matters. Ta-da. Okay. Plant ash flame. Plume. Whatever. Plant something. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, so we're gonna have a little seedling, sort of. Oh, I did that wrong, didn't I? I did that wrong. Because the clues are telling me that I have to pop it like a chestnut. I did that wrong. Okay, I'm sorry. You're going to compost. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I'm dumb and I messed up. Can I take the seed with me? It doesn't even let me do that. Wait, maybe I didn't do it wrong. Oh shoot, I just killed the poor seed. I'm sorry, I killed the poor seedling. Well, that's, yeah, actually it was a seedling at that point. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I'm so sorry. You were alive, and now you are not. Okay, um. Am I going the right way? Yeah, smoke birdies over here. Wait, am I going the right way? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. It's through the kitchen. Going back to the terrace. Whoops. Man, I forgot everything already. Can I look at this while I'm... Yeah, okay. Um... Man, none of this tells me the... Where did I see the wood? That's gonna drive me crazy. Okay. We are going to figure this out eventually. It's just... That doesn't tell me what kind of wood, though. Clues again. 
Okay, so it wasn't the poster, it wasn't the lecture, it's not the cookbook. Maybe it was the seed log? Or was it the poem? That'd be crazy. Is it the poem? I'm gonna feel stupid. Because it's right here. <laughs> Is it the poem? Oh. Oh. Wait, can't read. Yep, the ancient oaks. Yep, it says it in the poem. I'm dumb. <laughs> I knew it was either like oak or birch. I just couldn't remember which one. Okay, so let's try it. And if I'm wrong, then we'll try the birch, I guess, and see what the heck happens. But hopefully I'm not wrong. That's a long way to walk with a plant. <laughs> Where do I put it? Oh, right here. Okay. Whee. All right. Now let's get the oak wood. Thank you. Do I need one? Do I need more than one? We're going to find out. It walks so slow. Is it hot enough yet? Wait, do I have to... Do I close the door? Do I have to close the door? Does it matter? It won't let me close the door. Okay. Smoker is not very useful if you can't close the door. But it, oh wait, now it's letting me... Oh, I'm in the way! But it didn't work. Okay, so maybe it needs more than one. I don't know if she can walk fast enough to get more than one. Let's see. Can I grab another one? No. I'll I grab the one. There. What is okay. At least then the smoke stays in. I don't know if I need another one, but let's try it. I just couldn't close the door before, so let's see. The point of this was Okay, but that doesn't tell me like it says how to use it, but it doesn't tell you how to use it anyway. Oh, smoke coming out the front. Not the side. Nope. Darn it. Do I just like hope my little plant grows? <laughs> Wait, I heard music. No. <laughs> Darn it. Okay guys, what the heck am I doing wrong? <laughs> okay, I am It's smoking. Nothing to do with that. That's just there. No, I don't want to take well, maybe I do. Does it look any bigger? No. It's not popping. So to me it's not hot enough, but I don't I don't know how to make it hotter. Okay. Thank goodness we don't run out of oak. I'd be in a lot of trouble if I ran out of the uh, out of the wood that I need. <laughs> Come on, closer, closer, closer. Is there something else I missed? Should I try a different wood? Oh, the smoke is coming out. <clears throat> Am I really going to get stuck on the third plant? <laughs> is, this, is this where I fail? This is sad. <laughs> is this is where I fail. I found all the clues. And they made sense. You have to smoke it. It has to, it has to grow in a hot place. Hot enough that it, it's like a chest that it pops. The fires in the wood burned, it said, so I'm not, but I do. I don't know. Nothing. I don't want to just do this for the next few hours. Like, what, what, am, I, what am I doing wrong? I'm going to try a birch just because I don't know why that was in my head, so I kind of just want to try one. Oop. See, I don't think that was right. Hello? Now I can't open the door again? The heck? There we go. What the? Hello? No. It's still a tiny little thing that hasn't cracked. 
Whoops. What the? Why is that even possible? There we go. Hmm. Let's go back to the beginning. Because I'm apparently dumb. And I'm missing something. That made me think of an old Hillary Duff song, by the way. <laughs> I don't know if anybody knows it or not, but I, ooh, immediately started going, let's go back to the beginning. Hi, Christina. Welcome in. Um, okay, home breath, take your sights all year round, blah, 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 blah. Becky Falls, um, that's when's wood. We know it's the woods. We got that part. Got it. Got it. Got it. Um... You came in to watch me struggle. <laughs> I'm totally stuck on this stupidity. Uh, uh, okay, some of them have learned to adapt to fire. Yeah, yeah, we know that. Uh, the seeds typically have to have shells. Yeah, only broom when surrounded by smoke or almost from that habitat. I was, it's, I, it's the habitat I'm apparently getting wrong, but the heck is it? Well, it had, it's in your seed notes. It has to be. No, it's not. It just says wistful woods. And the poem said oak. So what the heck am I doing wrong? It is really cute. Isn't it pretty? It's such a pretty game. Wait, Wisman's Wood. Ash Plume. I'm going to lose my mind on the third damn plant. All right. <laughs> I can't go out like this. It's embarrassing. <laughs> uh, this was her friend. Oh, Christina, you missed the... Um, the Downton Abbey tea. We had a secret dalliance between I, my butler and or groundsman and my chef. Um, you missed it. We have all the tea here. <laughs> this isn't a clue, right? No, that wasn't one of the clues. And then there was, this was the chef's thing that she left behind. Um, and I found the key for the kitchen here, but that's all there was here. There wasn't like, um, ooh, the water sounds making me so happy. I'm sorry. I could, I could literally have her sit here and just listen to this all day. I love the sounds of the water. Oh my gosh. Anyway. Yeah, this is nothing to do with my plant. <laughs> Uh, so serene. Okay. Mm. It has to be oak. And I did hear some, like, of the mythical, mystical <laughs> music when I did it. I, I don't know. Am I supposed to be inside when I put the smoker in? Or the wood in? I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm doing something wrong. So I don't know what it is. All right, back we go. Ah, uh, such a long, long walk to the other end of the hallway. All right, down from the kitchen. Almost forgot to get the wood first. All right, Here we go again. I am trying to find the answer to this puzzle. <laughs> um, so I have all these clues that we found, um, and it's supposed to help make the flower bloom. And I am struggling to make this flower bloom. <laughs> it don't want to bloom. Close, close, close door. No, all the smoke is leaving. I can't be on the inside, right? Like, it's just not going to let me. I don't know. What the heck do I know? Yeah, the cherry logs are a pretty color. I was saying that that's my second favorite wood. <laughs> Even before, because it's so pretty. Alright. Inspect the log. Cool. I've inspected it. It is a log. <laughs> Why? Why do I need to do this? Okay. 
I really am going to try and like maybe speed run this a little. See if I can break another log before that one burns, but I doubt it. Oh, I can run! Wait, wait, I saw running. Wait, I can't open the door though. Haha! I can run! I didn't know that. Now I might stand a chance. Hold on. <laughs> I'm literally going to speed run this. Hold on. Oh no. Oh, I can't put more than one in. That's annoying. How many times do I have to do this? I keep hearing the dun dun. Like, it's giving me music. I don't know if it's like your dummy music or if it's like your right music, but I'm hearing music. Wait, did it do something? I feel like I heard it do something. Like, like I saw the seed. I'm losing my mind, I'm telling you. It looked like the seed moved. Either, but I could just be crazy because I've been trying to do this for like the last 15, 20 minutes. Um, or something. I lost track of time. I don't know how long I've been doing this one puzzle. Um, let's look at it. Let's watch it. Hold on. See, it moved. Okay, I'm not crazy. It did move. It a thousand percent moved. But what else am I supposed to do? I'm uh, confused. Oh! Wait, can I put the logs here? I'm stupid, aren't I? I can put the logs down, Nicole. And I can come... <laughs> and then I can just put them in one after the other, can't I? Can't I? Am I going to hit myself later for this? Am I going to, like, beat myself up for this now? You stupid idiot. <laughs> I was so dumb! Why didn't I think of putting it down before? If this is not the right answer, I give up. I don't know what to do. I, I don't know what else to do. I can put the wood there. I'm, I'm smart. Okay. If any of my lovely streamer friends ever watch this, they're gonna be like, Nicole, why are you so stupid? <laughs> like, what the hell's wrong? Wait, is that even oak? Why doesn't that look like oak? I mean, I know it is, so that, but like, it doesn't look like it. It's bothering me that it doesn't look like it. All right. Were there any more I could grab? It was just three, right? I can't grab more than three. Yeah, no. Okay, so the answer's three, apparently. I am locking myself in here with all the smoke. I'm gonna die. No. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Let's see. How does this work? Can I do it? Okay. Okay. Um, this is gonna end horror. This is how. This is the end of Arabella Green. <laughs> Let's see. Come on. Why can't I put another one on? Is it like one right after the other? Because I cannot put another one on right now. It won't let me. What happened? Oh, it worked. Okay. I thought it didn't work. Oh, wait. What the heck? What the heck? I put it in, but it's there. Dropping. Well, that's a fun glitch. Whoops. Um. No. What? Weird glitch, but okay. Wait, what happened? Hello? Okay, it's just floating in midair now. Great. Cool. I got a problem. Uh, guys, we may have a problem here. <laughs> uh, that's, that's not supposed to happen. Did I try to trick the system? Is that what happened? Oh, I can't choose anything. <gasps> oh, no! Guys, I'm dead now. I cannot leave. I cannot select anything at all. Wow, okay. Oh. Okay, we're gonna have to let the devs know about that one. Whoops! Um, I'm gonna have to restart the game, guys. It 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 crashed. Like I can't select anything. I can't leave my house or my smoker. I sincerely hope uh, that it had like save points um, because I'm pretty sure it's an auto save game. Um, and hang on one second. Oh boy.
Wow. Yeah, it's it's levitating. It broke. The game broke. I broke the game. We're gonna have to... I really hope I don't have to start from the beginning. That would absolutely suck. But, yeah. Game broke. Midstream. Wow. Cool. <laughs> I've not watched other people play this game because I didn't want to know the puzzle answers. Um, I'm wondering if that happened to anybody else. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know if I did the puzzle right or wrong by doing that. All I know is it died. <clears throat> oh no. Not, not good. <laughs> uh, okay, well it has continued, not new games, so yay. Fingers crossed that we don't have to do too much over. Hi, Lumeria. Welcome in. You missed it. The game crashed. I had a piece of wood floating, just completely levitating, and I couldn't leave my smoker. Like, there was no options to leave. I was stuck. <laughs> that was insane. I've never seen that. Well, I've never played the game, but like, I've never seen a game crash like that either. That was weird. I don't know if it was going to work this time, guys, but... I mean, I'd probably have to start it all over again. The, the the theory I had here, because uh, this is not... I mean, I only had one piece of wood left. That wasn't going to work. So, this this little seed is driving me nuts. Because <laughs> I have the answers, and I still can't figure it out. I, okay. This is, this is going to drive me absolutely bonkers. Lumeria, did you play this game or watch someone else play it by any chance? I'm genuinely curious if I'm doing this right or if I'm just absolutely stupid and just doing it completely wrong. Damn, I was hoping you had, because, like, I'm genuinely curious if I'm doing this right or not. But I don't want to look... <laughs> I don't want to cheat. I really want to do... Like, it's a puzzle game. I really want to do it. But, like, man, this has been 30 minutes of the stream <laughs> at this point. And then a crash, which is great. So, I have no idea. I don't know if I'm doing it right or not. Um, maybe let's leave the door open this time, because closed didn't work. The whole game crashed. I think it's this piece of wood. It looks different. It's evil. It, it broke the game. <clears throat> I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah, when I'm done streaming, I'm going to have to clip that part of the video of the, the stream and actually send it to uh, the devs that made Botany Manor because, whoa, that was, that was interesting. I'm pretty sure this is not going to work considering the door's open and the smoke is leaving. But... It keeps moving like it wants to grow, but it doesn't actually grow. Do I have to like water it again? I wonder. I don't know. I feel like that's not the answer at all, but I, I don't know, we're going to try. I don't know. I did water it, right? Like I'm not that stupid. We saw it get watered. I don't know. I don't know what to do with this plant. It's driving me crazy. Where is the planting stations? <laughs> I know there's one through here, so this is faster for me. Uh, I've never had a puzzle game make me feel so dumb in my life. It, it's just a flower. Th guys, this is why I don't have a green thumb, just to be clear. Th this is why I can't do this in real life. My, my poor plant. No, I can't even water it, see? So I did water it. <clears throat> like this plant would not only never grow, but it would somehow also simultaneously die, if this was real. <laughs> Ash Plume, you annoy me greatly. Is that the answer? 
You so mm. Mm -hmm. I'm stupid. Oh, this is one of those moments when I wish I had a face cam because I'm like, ah. Oh. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I'm. <laughs> I'm. I'm thoroughly embarrassed by that. <laughs> that was so stupid. Now I have a seedling. Now the ogle work. Oh my god, you. <sighs> okay. Wow. I was like five minutes away from checking Iona's stream. <laughs> not even gonna lie. I was gonna go and be like, I know she played this yesterday. What did she do that I'm not doing? Oh my god. Do I even need the three logs then? Will one be sufficient? Let, let's find out. I mean, they said like that the, the nut is tough to crack. It's like a chestnut. Mm -hmm. Yet my brain didn't think, let's put it over the fire in the kitchen. Like, what? Okay. There we go. Okay. Oh my god. Sorry guys. Whoops. I, I just, I don't even know what I just did. I put the controller down and it went crazy. Oh, I feel so stupid. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know if that means this game is really well made or badly made. Am, am I, am I just too stupid for this game? Did they make it too hard? Uh, it's probably me because they did say chestnuts like three times. So it's probably me. Video game logic sure is wild. <laughs> no, really. Uh, the plume at... Uh, I'm sorry, the ash plume, other way around. I'm so mad at this plan, I don't know what it's called. Is a pyrophile. Evolves to survive harsh uh, forest fires. Its seed cracks open with extreme heat, and afterwards the oak smoke from its habitat, Wisman's Wood, indicate it's safe to bloom. Okay. I mean, puzzles are hard, but that... That was dumb. Like for me, not not for the not for that. That like w in hindsight, that seems so obvious now with the clues we got. Oh, there's the gatehouse delivery. But wow, I feel stupid. That took too long. I feel like I just wasted half an hour of my stream. <laughs> that's crazy. That's that's wild. Like the answer was staring me in the face. I walked past. I walked past this how many times, guys? Like for real. And I saw this. And I was like, oh look, kindling, haha, ha, it's funny with the letter. Still didn't occur to me to put the damn plants up there. I mean, I don't even think, I don't think I walked past it close enough with the plant anyway, but still, what? Oh no, I'm dumb. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go to the gatehouse and see what was delivered. <laughs> oh no. Wait, did you know the answer and you just let me struggle? <laughs> That's fair, thank you. I appreciate you for not spoiling it if you knew the answer. Um, but wow, that was that was that was a little pathetic after a while. <laughs> oh wait, I can run. I forgot. I forgot just running. Running is a thing. Did you finish the game, Linguini? Okay. <clears throat> do, do, do. Wait, do I where do I where's the post? Where's the post? Where's the post? Where's the post? Ah! Wait, somebody dropped off a key for me? Okay. Yeah, the fountain's really pretty. Nah, I came back just when you solved it. Oh, okay, okay. Orchard. Okay. Okay, I thought you were just watching me struggle and laughing at me. <laughs> okay, so you finished the game. Okay, so if I'm really, really struggling for an hour, you, you have permission to spoil it for me. But hopefully I'm not dumb like that again. That was bad. <laughs> I can get to the orchard now. Yay! Where the heck was it? Let's see. I know it was over here somewhere. I'll find the gate again. It was this way, I think. Or, no, it's the gatehouse. Whoa! I'm just crashing into bushes. Don't mind me. Is it a short game? Is it, like, really short? Or is it, like... Is it, like, five hours short? Or is it, like, ten hours short? How, like, I don't know how short this game is. Where's the orchard? I'm gonna find it. Don't tell me. I'm gonna find it. Because I saw it before and I was like, I want to go to the orchard. Can't go in. Very sad. It definitely was not this far back. Because this is the demo beginning. It was not that far back. Okay. I will find it eventually. Oh, it was in the back terrace, wasn't it? Yes, yes, it was. Okay. The other side of my ground. <laughs> Christina, since you missed the tour of the grounds, here it is. Oh, maybe it was over here. Aha! I knew I'd find it. Okay. 
Yeah, the navigating is not the hard part. It's the puzzles that are the hard part. Really? Three to four hours? Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. That was all for chapter two. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. I can see three to four hours now. Fair enough. Mmm. I may have to figure out a new game to stream this weekend then. <laughs> I thought this might take longer. We'll see how long it takes me. I'd be shocked if I finished this whole game right on this stream, considering that took me so long just to figure out that one. So maybe over two streams, but still. Still, that's, uh, I'm gonna have to figure out a different game for Saturday, Sunday, probably. That's fine. Maybe we'll just vibe, and I'll play some, uh, either Wildflowers or Little Wood, which I'm still obsessed with and have not gone back to, so maybe I'll do that. Oh no, you do puzzle hunts for fun. Okay, so maybe it'll take me three streams. <laughs> maybe I'll be embarrassed and it'll take me nine hours. <laughs> yeah, the graphics in this game are super pretty. And in my opinion, they're fairly crisp for a, for a Switch port. Like, they're not going to ever be as high quality as, um, or not high quality, but like like high resolution, that's the word, can't think, as a computer game, as a, as, but uh, especially on a good computer. But for a Switch port, this is really pretty. I wasn't sure what to expect, but I like it. So, dear Ne- Oh, note to Florence. So, I wrote this note. It says, okay, cool. So, I wrote this note. Um, ooh, what's the witness? I don't know what that is. What's that? Tell me. Uh, dear niece, I have gathered a selection of my cherished toys and books among them, my beloved piggy. Aw, piggy. I highly recommend the nursery rhymes. They are charming as well as educational. Though I'll take no offense should you put your little one straight to sleep. Oh, I'm sorry, Cheyenne. The, 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 this is the main character speaking. I apologize. Dear niece, I have gathered a selection of my cherished toys and books. Among them, my beloved piggy. I highly recommend the nursery rhymes. They are charming as well as educational. Though I'll take no offense should you put your little one straight to sleep. With all my affections, Auntie Arabella. Sorry, Cheyenne insisted I do everything with a British accent, and to be fair, that is actually the main character, so that kind of makes more sense. Oh, there's the piggy! That's cute. <laughs> I apologize to anybody that's actually from England listening to this. I'm sure it's terrible. I apologize. <laughs> it's the best I could do after many, 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 many years of watching a boy wizard movies over and over and over and over and over as a child. So, it, that's what's stuck. I'm sorry if it's not good. Um... <laughs> it feels pretentious. Wait, do the puzzles feel pretentious or the graphics feel pretentious to you? Which one? Oh, you're talking about the witness. Sorry. I still don't know which one you feel. Which one is? What about it is pretentious? Uh, okay. What is this? Nursery rhyme. Okay, the wolf glove. Oh, okay. So this. Okay. High on the mountain top, so steep, grows a flower that's hard to keep. Oh, great. The plot. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll have to look it up and see what you're talking about because I've never heard of that game. But that's that's cool. But that's good. Thank you for your opinion. I'll have to keep that in mind when I go look it up and see what the heck it's about. <laughs> um, where was I? It's petals delicate and bright, whistling in the wind with all their might. Oh, cute. The mountaineers who climb up high listen for the whistle as they try to find their way amidst the sun and reach the summit, cheeks aglow. Huh? It rhymed, and then that makes no sense. Okay. The puzzles are pretty good, though. Okay, that's cool. That's always... To be fair, I, I feel like that's a little more important in a puzzle game. Because puzzle games don't necessarily need to have a plot. Like, like I mean, Tetris is a puzzle game. Like, <laughs> not everything needs a plot, but... You know, I mean, if it's trying to have a plot, it'd be nice if it was good, too. But the puzzles are important in a puzzle game, so, you know. That's a good thing. Uh, can I... Is there more? Oh, there's more. Oh, there's more. Never mind. That's, that was still a weird... Whatever. With every step, they hear it loud. The wolf's glove... The wolf gloves howl, Jesus, clear and proud, <laughs> guiding them through paths unknown to reach the summit and call it home. My reading skills have never been worse. Okay. Believe it or not, guys, I'm studying to be a librarian. <laughs> I promise I can read. <laughs> this is so sweet. Look how cute this is. This is just so cute. A little box of toys. Little piggy. Alright. Uh, let me see the new plants I got. Alright. Um, peculiar petals. Whoa. Pixie tears. That looks interesting. This flower is closely associated with orchids. I wonder why. Um, when the witness of the literature feels that way, there's a free parody of it. Oh my god, no way. Oh, it must, it must be pretentious if somebody made a parody of it. That's, that's crazy. 
<laughs> That's so funny. And Wolf Glove, which I was just reading about, so the nursery rhyme goes for that. The small flower has long tubular petals. How interesting. Okay. Very interesting. Seed packet location orchid. Seed packet location orangery. Orangery. I don't know if I said that right, but... Okay, I didn't even notice in the other ones that it told me where the seeds were. But now it doesn't. I honestly didn't even notice that. I, didn't, I was like, I'll find everything. <laughs> I'm just going to explore. Because that's half the fun of this. Okay. So here's the seed station. We're just going to throw some potting soil in for whenever I find seeds. Um, what's this? Oh. Oh, I saw this in someone's play. Again, I didn't really watch the playthrough. I was just like, I caught like half a second and I was like, nope, don't want to watch it. So, but I do remember seeing this, this thing. I don't know. I know it's a clue, but I don't know what it's for, so we'll find out. Botany Manor feels like it has similar graphics to The Witness and the book mechanic from Obrin then. Ooh, you do play a lot of puzzle games, huh? I did not even know these puzzle games. My goodness. Okay. Maybe that's why I'm so bad at puzzles. <laughs> ah. Do they think I can read this? Okay, there we go. Nobby Russet. Dabinet. Fox Whelp. That doesn't sound nice. Um, Brown Stout. Snout, not stout. I thought it was a beer for a second. I can't read that one. Pit, pit Mason Pine? Sure. Cat's head. That does not look like any cat's head I've ever seen, but okay. Kingston Black, Green Ups, Lord Peckover, Seymour's Delight. Sorry, guys. And Bitter Green Streak? Question mark? I think so. And Merlin's Mist. Damn, those are hard to read at the bottom. Okay. Oh, and there they are. I just, I just pick it up. I, I don't know what to do with it yet. I'm not going to pick it up, but that was, that's cool. Um, what is this? Okay. Cider making and apple blending. Okay. Ooh, a detective game. Do tell. <clears throat> I love me a detective game. That just sounds fun. I just finished Princess Peach today, and literally, other than the mermaid, because obvious is obvious, I'm a mermaid here, um, the detective levels were definitely my favorites. Um, I was most looking forward to those as well. So, I love that. Um, and there's a game coming out, supposedly, this year on PC. I'm not a, I'm not a PC gamer, primarily, like I am with Switch, but uh, it's Ducktective. And it just looks so silly and so funny, and I can't wait to play it. Um, I'm just not going to play it on stream, but I can't wait to play that silliness. It looks so cute. And I think they said it's going to be voice acted. So I was like, oh, okay. That's cool. Because um, I know, like, I, I mean, some people are starting to do more voice acted games. But I love that. I think that's awesome. Oh, thank you for subscribing, Linguini. My, uh, yes, Detective. I love how it looks. Me too. Thank you for subscribing. My Streamlabs decided to just never update because... Uh, somebody subscribed seven days ago and it just showed up today. I mean, it'll maybe tell me in a week that you subscribed. <laughs> but luckily my phone is faster than Streamlabs. So thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, but I, I know. Detective, I can't, I can't, bleh, I can't speak with Detective. <laughs> but it looks so cute. I can't wait. I don't think there's a release date yet, though. But it looks so cute. I can't wait for that. It's adorable. Um, sugar, tannins, acid values given per single apple. Okay, I'm not going to read every single thing of these, but I do see sugar in grams, which means that's what the way it's for <laughs> that we found before. Yeah, thanks, Streamlab. Seriously, my goodness. I mean, maybe as, like, more people subscribe, I'll actually put an alert box up, although, to be fair, I saw, I was watching one of my favorite streamers earlier, and the alert box was slow. Oh, wait, that wasn't today. That was yesterday. But either way, it was, like, really, really slow. It was like, thank you for subscribing. Like, 50 seconds later, it popped up. It was like, wow. Thank you, Streamlabs. <laughs> like, real slow. It was really funny. But, yeah. I haven't done any kind of alert boxes or anything yet, because it's usually pretty quiet. So I was like, I don't, I don't need that yet. <laughs> I don't need to be fancy yet. Maybe later. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Do, do. Is there anything, any more clues anywhere? Uh, okay, I saw that, I saw that. There's apples literally everywhere, check. Because whenever I need the apple, I guess. Oh, oh. Oh, I actually have to make cider, check. 
Cool. Cool. I mean, yeah, of course, nothing's gonna come out. Nothing was in there. So, yeah. Duh. Alrighty. Let's see where we're going. Hmm. Now, where do I go? Alright, let's see. Oh, there's another book. The Heritage Orchard. A preservation of endangered apple varieties. I mean, I guess that's why we've never seen these apples before. <laughs> Though, to be fair, does anybody want to eat that knobby apple? Because I don't. I mean, I kind of get why it's in danger. <laughs> Who's growing that? <laughs> okay, uh, I was already this way. That's where I came in from. So let's over here. <gasps> there's a microscope. Ooh, there's slides for the microscope. Red Campion. Sketch. <laughs> it's a sketch of what it looks like. That's cute. Okay. Open. Oh, there's a lot of slides. Pixie Tears! Wait, this is one of the ones I need. That was one of the flowers. Wait, how do I, how do I check it out? What if I want to look at it? Can I look at it? Does it matter? <laughs> Does it matter now that I've seen it? I don't know. Cradle Fern? That's definitely not one of them. Plays an insurance agent in, ooh, 1807. Okay, and so the workmanship that mysteriously disappeared five years ago and just suddenly reappeared with no crew. Ooh. It's Davy Jones' locker for them. <laughs> That's cool. Bluebell. Hyacinth. Okay. Spring dance shrub. Primrose. I almost bought my mom a hyacinth the other day. Ooh, foxglove. That's the other one I need. Okay, so that one looks like that. And then, that one's empty. That's interesting. Why is it empty? What's this say? Oh, hello? Tincture of iodine. Okay. Perfect for preparing microscope slides. Okay. Why do I have to prepare the slides? Hmm. Oh, chloroplasts. So the pixie tears have no chloroplasts? How? Okay. In the world of plants, the sun is the ultimate source of energy. Chloro oh, wait. Was that the one I said that grew in the mountain? No, that was the fox. The wolves, whatever. Never mind. I'm crazy, never mind. Chloroplasmal or organelles. Oh, we're going back to sixth grade biology. Let's go. <laughs> this is a while ago. Inside the cells of a plant are responsible for capturing the light from the sun and converting it into sugar through photosynthesis. What's the one thing everybody remembers from sixth grade biology? Because me and my old friends used to always say it's, um, the, what is it? The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. And that was, that was the only thing we could completely say um, with confidence. <laughs> it was sad. But it was funny. Um, however, not all plants have chloroplasts. Some plants rely on organic matter for their energy and do not photosynthesize. Oh, okay. So the, um, I wanted to call it Phoenix Tears. Haha. <laughs> the Pixie Tears do not photosynthesize. Good to know. I don't remember anything. <laughs> I didn't even remember the mitochondria thing. I only know that because people meet me. Yeah, well, I mean, to be fair, that's probably why half of my friends remembered it, too. I remember that genuinely from sixth grade, but I was also a smarty pants for no reason. Um, my friends uh, were the meme people for sure, so they definitely knew that from the meme and not from biology. Let's be real. They did not remember that. Um, let's see. Time and... Time and have oh wait what oh they have lost their chloroplast I can't read over time and have instead there we go adapted to obtain energy by absorbing sugars to the roots oh the sugar okay so that means that the I keep going back to it the pixie tears uh, are gonna grow th with the sugar so the apple thing goes with that plant got it okay cool cool um just gathering my clues right now I'm not gonna remember this when I have to actually grow the plant that's the problem and then I have to come back to the clue because why doesn't the book let you, like tell you the clue again? Like, why can't I click the clues I've already found and then read them again? Because that, I feel like, makes more sense than me running back and forth. Because that's, at least for a stream, that's not entertaining for you guys. Like, if I was playing by myself, okay, I'll run back and forth, whatever. But, like, an hour of me running back and forth to check, recheck clues, that's that's not entertaining. <laughs> by absorbing sugar to the roots. It is therefore recommended to add a certain amount of sugar to the soil when cultivating these particular plants. Yep. Okay. So let's go back in here. Pixie Tears. We have a microscope slide. 
and we have apple blending and apple cider whatever cider apples same same thing question mark i don't know and that's it so far but those definitely all go with the pixie tears based on what i just read although to be fair the slides go with both but i can't use it twice right can i hold on can i use it twice oops nope yeah, no, I can't. Oh, I can use it twice. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. I don't know if I need it there twice. But I don't know if I need it twice or not. Like that. I feel like... Oh, look at There's a little sheepy there. Hi, buddy. What's up? <laughs> He's just eating. But yeah, I don't, I don't know if that's like a trick that I can put it in there twice or if that's actually necessary. So we'll find out. Ooh, Orchard Mosaic. I... I don't know if this is relevant at all, but it's very pretty. It doesn't feel relevant to the clues, but... History of England! Priest holes? Wait a minute, why is it... Why does the top say priest holes? What? Okay. Um... Priest holes. Okay. Back in the Middle Ages, during the reign of Queen Elizabeth, all Catholics were persecuted by law. Yep. Therefore, some households... Um... Wait, sorry. Build secret rooms in case they needed to hide a priest that was visiting their family home. Whoa. <laughs> Linguini, yeah, basically me. Wait a minute. <laughs> um, this is not the spicy stream. Hold on. <laughs> Many of these so-called priest holes were designed and built by Nicholas Owen. I wonder how much of this is actually factual. Because, I mean, Catholics were definitely persecuted. Um, I wonder if this is fact. I kind of want to look it up now. Not right the second. I'm going to look this up later, though. I'm actually curious if this is factual or not. <laughs> Christina's just laughing. <laughs> okay. Only the owner of the house and Nicholas himself knew about the location. Because of this, it is thought that there may be many undiscovered priest holes throughout England to this day. Wow. Is, no, really. Is that historically accurate? I'm very curious. Wait, do I have a priest hole back here? Is that why this is, like, telling me, like, hey, look at this. It is a real thing? Wow. That's, that's freaking cool. But he's dead, so we'll never know where the others are. We'll have to find them all. That's cool. Okay. I I also have a bachelor's in history, so uh, I like history. <laughs> Sorry, that that's actually cool to me. I'm a nerd. That's cool to me. I'm a total nerd. That's cool. Letter from a historian. Lady Arabella, thank you for inviting me to Botany Manor last Monday. As a historian, I found it wonderful to see an authentic medieval manor, especially one as beautiful as yours. I mean, I agree. It's very pretty. I apologize again for not being able to locate the priest hole in your house. Oh, see? Although I am convinced it exists and we will one day find it. Or we'll find it one day. I just read it however I felt like reading it. <laughs> Same idea. It won't be easy. They tend to be hidden well and sometimes require elaborate mechanisms to be open. Oh, wow. Kind regards, Professor Pennyworth. Hang on, guys. One sec. Guys, give me like two minutes. I'm just gonna grab dinner. Give me one second. I'll be right back. Promise.
back. Okay. Um, so, oh, uh, so my favorite section of history um, was learning about World War II. Um, I, I was an American history major, so I learned everything about everything from uh, being, for lack of a better term, because my brain isn't working, uh, being owned by England, and then you know up to. I think my studies only went up to like the Cold War. I mean, I learned more on my own, obviously, but I think in college I only did up to classes up to like the Cold War, and I, then, by then I graduated. So <laughs> I um, that's as much as I got. Plus, honestly, I lived a lot. <laughs> And I lived a lot of the more recent stuff, so uh, I don't really, I don't really like studying it too much. But yeah, but I liked um, learning about World War II. It was very interesting, um, very depressing, obviously, but very interesting. Um, I just found out also that my mom is watching. So hi, mom. Hi, dad. And um, my um, my mom did confirm about the uh, the priest holes as well because <laughs> she is the English history person. So um, that was that's cool. I'm gonna have to read about that later. That's really interesting. Um, Okay, so I said uh, it may take a mechanism, right? Okay, so let's see. I guess we get to find the priest hole, so that's fun. Mm. Okay, there we go, something else. Lady Arabella, I have received your request for repairs to the roof of your garden tower. Alas, I must confess that I am not the man to undertake this task. Wait a minute, what? <laughs> okay. It may have escaped your notice that the tower in your orchid is known to locals as the Turbulent Tower. What the heck? It is believed that a poltergeist... A poltergeist. I love it. Okay. Dwells within its walls. Legend says that the spirit is evil and brings ferocious winds upon anyone who dares enter the tower. I don't want to provoke the wrath of this ghost and I advise you to refrain from meddling with the tower. <laughs> Willie the Builder. I can't. Willie, you're fired immediately. <laughs> I mean, I guess you didn't do any work anyway, but you're absolutely fired. That's hilarious. What? Okay. Um, let's see. Oops, wrong way. Well, this one is the one that grew on the mountain. So I imagine old tower, high up, winds, that that's where that goes. That's not too hard, theoretically. Is this the tower? Oh, hello. Sorry. <laughs> yep, that that be the tower. My bad. Didn't did not mean to do that. Okay. So is this where the priest soul is? Is that why they think there's a ghost in here or something? I wonder. Oh, mechanism. Oh, look at that. Oh, broken and momot and mometer and anemometer. I don't know how to say this word. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Hey, broken. Okay, it's ticking. Why is it ticking? All right. Hmm. So what happens if I? Oh, hello. Oh, we're going up. Oh. Okay. N now what? What the? Did I say one? Okay. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay, and then the the plant would be there to. I got it. Okay, I see. I see. I see. Wait, how high can I go? <gasps> oh. Okay. So I'm gonna have to figure out how much wind, I guess, the plant needs. Is it the higher up, the more wind I get, or the less wind I get? I can't tell. Let's see. Looks like more. I'm just opening all of them. I'm just letting the air in. <laughs> Don't mind me. Just letting the draft in. Ooh. Yeah, those are high winds. Wow. Wait, is that? Um, that stone's sticking out too far. <laughs> I'm like thinking of. I am being paranoid about what things. Oh, there's five of them. Okay. I should have just looked up, honestly, but that's okay. This is more fun. Alright, let's see. So I'm opening up all of them. I just want to see how the wind is. This one doesn't sound as loud as three. Three just honestly made me feel like when we had that rain last week in New York. That was crazy. Oh, okay, never mind. Five. Five is crazy. Five is crazy. Never mind. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's follow it down. Let's get out of here. Because I do not have the answers to grow this yet, but this is clearly where I'm going to be growing the... What was it? Wolf's Glove? 
wolf glove, yeah. It just occurred to me that if my parents were watching the whole time, that means they saw me be really, really stupid with that last, with that other flower. And now I'm further embarrassed. <laughs> oh well. Um, alright, out we go. So that's pretty cool. Oh god, thank goodness the wind stopped. That was so loud. <laughs> uh, why is it just rope? Hang on. Okay. Up steps. Okay, so this is another potting station. Oh, here we go. Some more stuff here. Tower wind research. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, there we go. All right, wind speed of 35. I, nope, I don't... F per S. I don't know what that stands for. Something per second, but... What's the F? Force? Force per second, maybe? I don't know. I don't even know. And then we have 50 on the second floor. Theoretically, it should be more as you go higher, but... Ah! I knew 4 didn't sound that loud. It's bad that I was doing it by the sound, <laughs> not by knowing, but that's, that's what I got, so... I knew that wasn't... it wasn't enough. Okay, 45... Wait, wait, what? Oh, it's test. I'm sorry, it's not the... F wait, what floor is it then? Oh, it's based on which ones are open. Oh my god, are you serious? That one only has two parts open of... Oh my lord, that's going to be so annoying. Okay, that's the first one. That the ground floor has one half open, and then two, three have, are fully open. Five is all the way open. How the heck am I going to... I'm going to be running back and forth. How am I going to remember this? I couldn't even remember to use the chestnut thing. <laughs> I couldn't even remember the chestnut thing. Oh my god. What? Okay. Somehow my M and Monitor broke. I hope there isn't a poltergeist in the tower after all. It's no poltergeist. <laughs> it broke because of all the wind probably. <laughs> Let's see. Um, what's this? Alpine exploration. Okay, so more for the Oh, you believe in me? Thank you. <laughs> I don't believe in me right now. <laughs> That is, that's a lot to remember, <laughs> especially since I'm going to be running. Oh, hello, back and forth. Okay, there we go, there we go. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I already don't remember the mountain they went up. See? Okay. Anyway, be sure to wear the correct gear when climbing. The winds in the Alps can be fierce and changeable. It's feet per second. Thank you, Daddy. Okay. <laughs> See, I don't know what it is. Um... We have other people for that. <laughs> it is advised to wear thick, warm clothing and sturdy boots with a good grip. Okay. So in the Alps, by location. Okay, there's the wind speeds again and the pressure. How am I getting the pressure if my thing is broken? Or is that only for wind? It may only be for wind. Okay. Um, let's see. Is it going to tell? It's not going to tell me where, though. I don't know where the nursery rhyme was. I really don't want to go all the way back to the damn nursery <laughs> Okay. Oops. Wrong one. There we go. Alpine weather. Hang on. All right. <clears throat> so those are all the ones I found. I have to go back because I do not remember the mountain at all. Oh, wait, is this the thing I was closed on the other side before? <gasps> I can go in now. And that way I can access it from the other side. Yay, look at that. Oh, that means I can get the key. That evil key that was taunting me. To the painting room. Oh, how nice. Okay. <clears throat> Hold on, there we go. Uh, Lady Arabella, as you can see, the staircase of the orangery collapsed in your absence. I have already written to the builder in the hope he wants to sort it out. Though, as you know, he can be difficult to pin down. I do apologize if this is getting in the way of your research. I don't suppose you could find another way into the bottom level. Oh, that's, that's annoying. I see that. Okay. Oh, my seeds are here, right? That's what it said before? No, nope. one of them was here. Okay. Dearest Arabella, everybody. Okay. We made it to the Alps. Oh. 
Well, they were all the Alps, weren't they? Okay, hold on. We are so sad that you couldn't join us this time, but we understand you are busy creating your herbarium. Yesterday we were lost on a hike until suddenly we heard a strange whistling tune. We followed the sound and soon enough we discovered it was coming from a tiny flower. Oh, there's the flower. If only you had been there to tell us what kind of flower it was. Your loving friend always, Natty. Okay. From Natty Golding. Okay, I mean, it's just the... Okay. I know this is all helpful, but my brain is just not putting it together. Hold on. I mean, it is, but it's also not. Uh, I imagine this goes with it, right? No, I must be wrong. About something. Probably that one. That I said is like, this isn't, this isn't for that, right? Because it didn't, like... It didn't paste ball or wh however you want to say it. It didn't solidify it, so something is wrong. Um, I know this is back the back terrace again, right? Yeah. It said the seeds were in the orangery, which means they're probably on the first floor where I can't get to right now. Okay, so I'm going to have to find my way down. Question. <laughs> Not for you guys, just a question for myself. Let's see. Am I correct? There we go. Let's try the painting room since we just got the key. Let's see. Ooh. The manor, constructed in 1593. Wow. Okay. Cool. So the kitchen, the servants, how I saw that. The painting room, the main room, the vestibule, flower room, dining room, drawing room. Still can't get to the library. Is a bell tower in here? Okay. Add it. Uh, still can't get to the library. Bedroom, bedroom, bedroom. Okay. I want to get to the library so badly. <laughs> what the heck was that? Okay. Meadow Orchard Research Team, 1862. Cute. Oh, I was on it. Nice. Dear Miss Green, your research proposal on the structure of coastal plants was one of quaint interest was of quaint interest excuse me we have no plans to find a small fund a small man it's hard to read this thing fund a small project like this but perhaps if you are set on botanical field work you might assist professor montague in his work on british meadow orchids oh, okay so that's what the picture was from okay i'm sure your natural aptitude for domestic duties would be much appreciated oh more people demeaning me great might i also recommend John Lindley's book, Ladies Botany, or a Familiar Introduction to the Study of the Natural System of Botany, is an elementary book for unscientific readers. Wow. Man, people are rude in this time period. Oh, I can. Is that what that's for? Oh, yeah, right. That's a thing. Thank you, Linguini. I forgot about that. I'm so enthralled and like, it's so pretty and I want to read it like the, like the letter and I forgot that's a thing I can do. <laughs> It's an elementary book for unscientific readers and one I have heard is suitable amusement for ladies such as yourself. Jeez. Being about a mother who wishes to teach her children about plants. I love how people are like respectfully, you know, with all due respect. Just because you say that doesn't make it respectful, guys. Like, man. This should be in the kindling pile too. Rude. Alright. Oh, another book. <clears throat> um, flower painting and watercolor. Very nice. I'm just examining all the books. Wait, might I have to bring all these books back to the library? It just occurred to me there's books and they're not in the library. Lady Arabella, I was wondering if I could join Mr. Bennett into town later. Oh, wait, is this from Hazel? <gasps> Mrs. Patterson, oh, we got more Downton Abbey. We got more, we got more drama. We got more tea. Okay, hold on. This is getting interesting now. I don't, what, what happened to these two? I want to know. Um, later this afternoon to place an order for a new kitchen scale. The one we have is rather ancient and I'm afraid it's not suitable for measuring flour to make my delicious scones. If you could let me know your decision before the afternoon, that'd be lovely. In your service, Mrs. Patterson. Wait, Mrs. Patterson. Hold, hold the phone. Hold on. She's having a dalliance and she's married. Oh, hold on a second. Whoa. Unless she's married to Mr. Bennett, which I doubt if she's Mrs. Patterson. What is happening? Oh, I really want to know the rest of the story now. Hold on a second. There is my mouse. Or whatever. There we go. <clears throat> Symbology. Nope. 
A study wherein the discerning reader will find a history of the use of religious and folklore symbols, folkloric symbols, excuse me, throughout the art of the world. Oh, these are literally just religious symbols. Yeah, okay, I know these. Oh, oh, that mysterious symbol I found before was Catholicism. Sorry, Mom, I never would have known that one. Anyway, <laughs> I, I know Star David. <laughs> I know Taoism. I know those. All right, so that's what I found there in the servants area. That was the symbol I found. Okay, I'm just running into an easel. <laughs> What's on the easel? Botanical painting. Very pretty. Is that one of the flowers I'm about to grow? Hopefully grow. The exploring is taking a while. Ooh, what's that? Hello. A discarded poem? Okay, we'll, we'll just save my eyes and do this for now. My dearest Arabella, in gardens fair you grace the scene of flower rare. Your presence beams with radiant light, a lily's charm so pure and white. Your hands like petals, soft and fine, in tender touch, a love divine. And in your eyes a brilliance glows, as daisies fair and springs repose. Oh, how I long to have you near, to cherish you, my heart sincere. Like roses freshly cut, you'd be the trophy of my home with glee. See, I told you guys I could read. Anyway. <laughs> That's really pretty. Who wrote her that poem? It's so sweet. It's just thrown away. I wonder if they threw it away and this is their room, or is this my room and I threw it away? Which is worse. Like, that's mean. What is in the fireplace? I assume it's a log. It doesn't look like a log. Is there anything else here? Did she, like, shun men? Is that what I'm learning as we go through? I mean, enough men were rude to her. Did she, like, shun the rest of them that were nice, too? I don't know. I am not finding anything else in here. Um... I don't think. It's a small room, but I don't see anything else. Okay, let's go back. Oh yeah, I can run. Yeah, the slow walk. I forgot. I don't want to miss anything though either. I still haven't found either of the seeds. Okay, there's a. That's the tower. Yep, that's the offshoot to the tower. I went there already. I was here, and my builder is dumb. I know that. Hmm. What am I missing? What am I missing? Oh, there's a whole little greenhouse thing here. There's a seed. That's the one that's out here. Can't get to the other one yet. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, missing one clue. Hopefully it's in here with the seed. Because I saw something here. Yep. Notes on soil additives. Oh, okay, yep, here we go. This should be the rest for this. Good. Arabella ain't got time for love. She's too busy botany and painting. Okay, so it is her paint. She was like, man, but that was such a sweet little poem. And she was like, nah, I don't need you. Garbage. <laughs> uh, let's see. Sometimes I need to add extra nutrition to the soil. I have found the following amounts to work best with my different pots. In my different pots. Oh. Wait, am I going to have to use a different pot? All I have is the, the one that says 97 grams, so I assume that's what I need. It's the only one I got. Okay, so... Oh, jeez. Losing my headphones. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so 97 grams of sugar. Now, am I getting the sugar from the apples? Oh god, I can zoom in when I'm not moving? Or on other... That's... I meant to run. I hit the wrong button, clearly. Wow. That was... That was weird. I don't think I like that. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um... Is it based on... Not that. This thing? Come on, you. Um, oh god, that somehow works for this one. I'd rather read it this way. Okay, sugar. Am I gonna have to do, like, a, a few different ones to get the sugar I need? I feel like there's math involved here. Hold on. Hold on. Time to pull out the calculator. <laughs> 
bitch. There was also something else about um, the acids and stuff, right? Hang on, let me put the last clue in because that would be smart. Yep, okay, so that's how I know that's done. <coughs> uh, oh, my bad, did not mean to do that. Um, apple blending. Okay, so the book and the slides don't help me at this point. It just told me that it was for this flower. At this point, I need the blending, the the apple chart, and the pot notes to actually grow the plot, the plant. Blech. Okay, so... Yeah. Alright. Yep, so it would be this, I think, then. Um, I don't know what the tanning and acid is going to do, though, so I am a little concerned about that. I imagine it matters, so it said something in that book, didn't it? Darn it. <laughs> My brain. Too much puzzles. <laughs> no, I like the puzzles. This just tells me the type of apples, so, which will be helpful, but not at this exact moment in time. Where was that book? Okay. I feel like it said something about the acids in that book. Hang on. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Photosynthesis, but these are not photosynthesis. They absorb sugar. Uh, they burn a certain amount of sugar to the soil when cultivating these particular plants. That I know. So it didn't talk about acid? Well, the acid messed it up though, if it's not correct. It was not the right amount. Wrong one. I know that's it. Okay. Okay. Slides, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Oop. I got stuck on a tree. Let's go around this way. <coughs> 97 grams. Okay. Okay, as you know. Soil additives. Okay. Okay, I guess we're going to experiment. <laughs> See what happens. Alright, so Pixie Tears. We know we need that. And we know we need that. Oh, look at it. It's all white because it has no, uh, no chlorophyll. How pretty. Okay. And there's a station over there, I think, to put it down. Although I can put it on anything, it seems. So that's fine. So we'll take it with us. Here you go, pretty. Here's no baby. <laughs> all right. Let's run, 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 run. Uh, there's a place somewhere. There it is. Right. Okay. Because that's how you add it. Oh, I don't want to put it there. What if I add the wrong ones? <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Give me this back. Thank you. Okay. Let me see. Well, that would be the easiest one, right? No. No, it's not. That's... That's me not mapping. Never mind. Ignore me. 97. Uh, da Hi. Uh, is there one for... No, because that would take me there. Okay, so it's going to be three apples? I think. It's not going to be that one. We'll see. Um, sorry for the noise, guys. Uh, 35 and then uh, I've already used that so I can't do that I'm trying to calculate this so hard guys that's why it's like weird right now hold on 27 um if I did that one oops wait did I just add it that was dumb why did I do that um minus nope not enough okay Minus, minus, <laughs> oh wait, that could work, okay, so let's try that, uh, let's try the knobby russet, the cat's head, and Merlin's mist, 
I don't know what the heck I just said, but we're gonna try it. Okay, so I know this is the this is Merlin's Mist, so we're gonna try that one. So I was wrong. This is still not the weights. I think. I don't know. Uh, which ones did I say? Nobby Russet, the ugly one. Is that what I said? I think I said the ugly one. Uh huh. Nobby Russet and the. Oh my brain! I forgot already. Darn. What did I say? Mine is. 30. Cat's head. Cat's head. Cat's head. The ugly one in the cat's head. That, that's what it is. That looks knobby to me. That's so gross. Alright. Cat's head. 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 Okay. And this is a cat's head. I remember because I was like, this is not any cat's head I've ever seen in my life. Okay. Let's try it. I'm scared. <laughs> I don't know if this is right or not. It worked! I did it! Woohoo! Math for the win? Question mark? <laughs> I mean, I needed a calculator and it took me a second, but I, I got it. I got it. We got there. Do I leave it here? I don't want to leave it here. Oh! Okay. It's so pretty. Look at that. I love that. <laughs> the pixie tears no longer contains chloroplasts, which are organelles responsible for photosynthesis. Instead, the pixie tears obtain pixie tears obtains sugar through their roots which it commonly finds in the apples from orchids <gasps> yay we did it Woo! <laughs> it's one more down i don't want to leave it there i'm just gonna i'm gonna put it up here just because it's a little prettier than <laughs> on the ground <laughs> like that's a terrible place to leave it but there you go that's a little better than down there i worked hard for that <laughs> is there a different combination that also works for that or, like, does it have to be that combination? I wonder. Okay. Um. I still don't know how to get down to the first floor of the orangery. So I better figure that out. <laughs> Let's see. Let's go back to my house, maybe. Find a way downstairs? I don't know. I know there's servants quarters there, but like, is there a way like down? I have downstairs somewhere? Should. Was I in here already? I don't remember this at all. Um, my dear Sarah Bell, I hope this letter finds you well as you set off for London on your important trip. The thought of you in the bustling city works on working on your ambitions both excites and worries me. I'm skipping ahead. <laughs> Time has indeed passed and yet your determination for your field remains inspiring to me. I never imagined all those years ago that we would be writing to each other in our fifth decade about such endeavors. So I was right, she is 55. Okay. I look forward to hearing about your progress and of course let me know how I can be of assistance upon your return. Your loving sister Elizabeth. Thank you Lizzie. <laughs> I'm sure she did not call her Lizzie. Um, Oh, is this where my flowers are supposed to go? I guess that makes sense, right? <laughs> this is where they get displayed. I have to. I should be bringing them over here. Okay. Got it. <laughs> oh, this poor tree. It bothers me. Um, let's see. See, like this is down but then I can't get back up sorry for the noise so like how like I don't want to get up there I want to stay down here so I can go to the orange tree, and I cannot figure that out And I wonder how knowing what the symbol is, like, how does that help me now? I know what it is. Cool. Um, I don't know if it's going to help. Oh, gosh. Oh. 
Uh, no, not yet. I haven't found anything about a pre-soul yet. I know it said it was a mechanism, um, but what the mechanism is, I have no idea yet. Uh, can I put them on this side? No? Only on this side? Oh, okay. I haven't even seen a clue for this. I'm just messing with it at this point. Or if I have seen a clue, I don't know what it is. I have no idea. Is it supposed to be like the year he built it or something? <laughs> I don't know, it's like 1850 something? I don't know, I forgot what it said. I have to go look at it again. Nope. I have no clue. I mean, this has to do with the... I mean, I imagine it's here because, I mean, there's a Catholic symbol and this is a mechanism. But, like, I don't know how to open it. <laughs> I haven't figured that part out yet. Um, there's candles. Although I guess that would make sense because this is the first floor that I need to be on. So yeah, that would, that would make sense. Other than the book of symbols in here? Um, I mean, there was a religious, um, the heck was it called? Not a poem. The blessing. Yeah. There we go. Okay. I was going to say it had to be on there, right? <laughs> Oh, wow. It was gifted by the guy that made the glory. <laughs> Thank you, Linguini. <laughs> okay, but now can I figure out the clue in here? Let's see. Um, BBT? <laughs> Big letters? Um, Remember the year of construction. That's literally what I just said, so I just don't remember what the year was. I I thought it without even reading that. I kind of just assumed. I'm like, is it the year he made it? I don't remember what the year was, so we're going to go check. What was that book again? It's uh, somewhere not here. Somewhere not here. Somewhere definitely not here. My bad. I'll find it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sorry for the dizzying this for a second. Um, so up this way. All the way out the back. I think. Um, da -da -da -da. It was not this book. What's this? Oh, the formal garden, right? Why are these grounds so large? <laughs> I know the answer, but you know. Nope, I went the wrong way again. Darn it! <laughs> I need a mini map now at this point because I've unlocked so many places. <laughs> I'm just like, where are we going? Oh, it's up here. Stupid. There we go. Okay. It was somewhere back in this backyard area. Not that. That's the wind. Da, 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 da. It's over here. There we go. Can I get up here? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. Um. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Wait. What? It's not on this. This is them trying to find it. Back in the Middle Ages, during the reign of... Okay, Middle Ages would have been even older than I had. I was going 18. Um, did it have the... Hmm.
Am I supposed to know when Queen Elizabeth reigned, or is that somewhere else too? Well, maybe the. Let me see if the family tree will help me. Which way back to my house? This way. This is one way anyway. Probably not the right way, but it is one way. Oh, it's at the front door that would have been closer. Huh, I'm done. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm still curious, though. Her family only, go, only goes back to 1756, according to the tree, yet the house was built in the 1500s? That's interesting. Hmm. Fifteen ninety three. Okay. Oops. Crashing into things again. Okay. Go me. Oof. Had the right idea, had the wrong year. <laughs> There we go. Hey, mystery. I like the subtle hints, Linguini. Very helpful. <laughs> Not like, it's over there, but like, did you see this? Do you know about this? <laughs> it's like if this game had a hint system, I feel like that's what it would be like. This is fun. Where the heck am I going? Oh, there's a it's a cross on the door. Found the right place. Mm -mm. Oh, what the heck is this place? This is not what I was expecting to find. Oh, there's an elf. What the heck? Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> nope, we're saving my eyes. My lord, Green. Green? Green. Oh, that's how my name was spelled originally, I guess. Green. Green. Whatever. Thou hast ventured mightily in granting me refuge within these walls, and for such favor I remain eternally indebted to thee. The cunning of little John in his establishment of these sanctuary doth inspire all. A saint he is to our brethren and sisters who have sought refuge from the harsh rule of Queen Elizabeth and King James. Pray extend my gratitude unto thy cook for the sustenance provided, a welcome respite from Brother Michael's oft-repeated fare of leeks and potatoes. I saw leeks and potatoes in the shopping list. Anyway. With the most earnest of thanks, I entreat that this missive shall not mark our final communion, and that our faith may endure unbroken. Yours with devotion are Blunt. Blunt? Blunt. Okay. I'm not seeing anything. Okay. What's that? This thing sticks out like a sword thumb. So break away. Oh no, they're duck. I swear to God, if the ducks are clues to something else later, <laughs> I'm gonna be like, what? Okay. Um. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Found it. <gasps> right into the orange room. Perfect. Collect seats. Yay. Okay. Green. I'm still missing a clue though. Maybe it's in here. Oh, it's on here too. Ah, dead giveaway. Check. Lady Mountaineers Club first outing, 1858. Okay. Ooh, what's all this? Souvenir coin. Oh, Wise Horn, Switzerland. Matterhorn for a summit. Oh, okay. Okay, this definitely has to go with the that flower. Okay. 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 Souvenir de mon ascension. <laughs> to Eiffel, Paris. Oh my God! No, I. I did. I did French for y'all. That's not happening. That one's not happening. Gran Paradiso, Italia. Very nice. Okay. Um. So this is the one that matters, right? The wait. It's either the Wise Horn or the Matterhorn. I don't know which one. I have to go back to that um that list of uh, wins and stuff, and I don't know which one's gonna be. But this definitely 
is important. What the heck is this? Uh, all correspondence to the above address. The Society for Botanical, 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 what? Science. Streets, no, meets every second and fourth Wednesday from 6 o'clock at the Assembly Rooms in Stroud. Hey, pers wait, Stroud, okay. A prospective applicant must be supported by three existing fellows of the society along blah, 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 blah. my mouth can't work today. This is society apparently, along with evidence or research showing his dedication to the advancement of the science of botany. Windows, widows, man, I can't read today. Oh my god. Widows of existing fellows receive honorary membership. Oh how lovely, thank you. To attend annual social events. This month's lecture is on the importance of laboratory investigation. Annual book sale. Publishers and collectors are invited to the annual book and periodical sale to be held at blah, 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 blah. There's nothing left. Okay. Cool. Uh, see, let's see, let's see. Oh, look, it's another one of these pattern pictures that I like because they're blue. Oh, gosh, the poor stairs. My lord. Oh, there's more. More coins! Ben Ye Nevis, it is. Fort William, Scotland. Man, this woman went everywhere! This doesn't help me! Okay, maybe the book is alpine. Maybe the book behind it is the clue, the real clue. Mont Blanc. Okay, with no year. Uh, I Eager? Eager? The Crystal Palace for the Great Exhibition in London. Cool. That I know is historically accurate. That's cool. Okay. Oh, there we go. 1862. Now I have a year. Cool. Today marks the beginning of an intriguing adventure as I join Professor John Montague, his wife Anne Montague, and fellow botanist Robert Brown on our field trip to study British meadow orchids. Everyone's enthusiasm for the subject is infectious. Oh, well, I had that year already, didn't I? Because it was under the, uh, the picture, technically. Today, Professor Montague gathered all of us to examine a southern marsh orchid, though upon arrival, I noticed it had a much more hooded appearance and could be a new species entirely. I pointed this out. Professor Montague laughed and explained he was simply testing us. Wow. Wow. Cool. 1862. coin collection. None of those had... Wait, what was... Oh, those are just little things floating. <laughs> I thought that tricked me. Eighteen forty eight is the first fifty eight. See, carry it. Okay, eighteen fifty eight. Is that more important? Eighteen sixty five. No. That one has no year. Some of them have no years too. Eighteen eighty five. I don't think I saw 58 on any of these, did I? Hold on. Sorry guys, I keep checking coins. <laughs> 58, 58. And the book said 62. Okay. I don't think I saw either of those years. Okay, so we're going to go check the book again then. I know it's not the exhibition. Well, 58 to 61. Mm. Okay. Um, can't go out that way. Wait, I can't go out that way and I can't go back the way I came? Question? Oh, I can repair the stairs. Wow. Sure. Sure, that seems safe. No, don't, don't do that. that. That's not safe in the slightest, guys. Don't, don't do that. 
Alpine Exploration. This is the thing I was looking for. There we go. Um, great, but she went to most of these. And what did I have the year? Hang on. Alpine Weather, yeah. The Letter About the Alps. Wait, huh? What letter? I read everything, but... Oh, the one up here? Let me see what that was. Alright, there was something up here, too. No, that was that was about stairs. Never mind. <laughs> that, that has nothing to do with what I'm looking at right now. That's stairs. Okay. This is her journal thing. This is her field trip journal. Okay. And she went on a field trip at 62. This is not a letter. This is an old advert. Okay. And her... Wait, some of... Oops. My bad. Oh, no. These were actually stuck in there. Okay, I thought it wasn't like something was wrong still. I was like, wait a minute. What? Uh, the letter from the builder, the wind research, is how to get it to grow. That I know. Alpine weather and the orangery and the letter about the Alps. In the nursery rhyme, I think, as well. Am I missing this letter? No. But thank you. <laughs> no, but thank you. Lady Mountaineers. This is a book. More pictures. Maybe it's like right outside. The orange tree. I know the weather, like the weather thing is out here, but it counts it as in the orangery, even though this is not inside. Um, just have it ready. <laughs> okay. okay. The rate I'm going, this might be our last plant today. Oh, there we go. That's the letter, I think. Yeah, she said they were on the Alps. Is the Alps even on that? Like, isn't the Alps like multiple notes? That doesn't tell me anything. I mean, not that it doesn't tell me anything, it does, but. Oh! Haha, <laughs> the envelope. It has the Matterhorn on it. Nicole. My goodness. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. This makes sense now. <laughs> there we go. Okay. I was wondering why the envelope was important, so I'm like, yep, that makes sense. Okay. Matterhorn wind speed 20. 10 seconds. Okay. 20. 20 was the fourth test. Oh, boy. So I have to... Does it matter which one I open? I just have to open one of each. I really hope it doesn't matter. We're gonna go find out. See our plant. Take our baby with us. Come on, baby. Let's see if we figured it out. If we figured it out, we can start the next plant. If we didn't figure it out, I don't have time to start another plant. <laughs> um, most likely. go back into the loud things they opened every single shutter possible oh, close. uh oh uh oh I think we need telling me I'm wrong <laughs> okay okay hold on let's go back then still my close some of these because it's so loud all right let's see The mountain exploration is making me think of Indiana Jones. <laughs> it was in the other one, I think.
There it is. Ah, Wisehorn. Thank you. Gotcha. Wisehorn, Switzerland. Which is. Which one? Uh. Uh. Da, 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 40. 40 is the one I was on, wasn't it? Yep, this one. Okay. <laughs> Good to know I'm not alone then. Because <laughs> it makes you think Matterhorn. It's so obvious. And it's like, wait, wait a minute. That's not right. I mean, it's a horn still, but not the right one. Okay, so the first window was fine anyway. I have one open. Unless it matters which shutter, too. But if not, then one is open. Close two and five. Okay. Close two and five. Whoa, wrong button. I wanted to sprint. <laughs> I keep zooming. <laughs> Zoom. Alright. Close to it. 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 Song of the day. Close to it. <laughs> Close. You're too loud. You're too windy. Nobody likes you. Wait. Hello. Hello. Wait. Thank you. Shush. Does it actually matter which shutter is closed? Wait. No, there's not a sixth one. Okay. Oh, but it would help if I had the breeze, right? Let's go back down. Wait. Shutter was supposed to be open, so let's go down and look at the shutters. <laughs> this is too in depth if I actually have to know exactly which shutter. That's just too in depth. That's a little much, even for me. Am I at the bottom? Okay. <laughs> okay, so... I have to be on the fourth floor, which is where I was. Um, if it's left in the book, it's my right when I'm looking behind it. Okay, this is the second floor. Second floor right open, second floor right open. <clears throat> if it matters that much, let's see. Wait, what? Why is this open? Wait, did I mess up? Hold on, I gotta go back. I just confused myself, hang on. Oh. <laughs> Plants, please. <laughs> Wait a minute. Nope, wrong one. That one. I need 40. Yeah? Okay. Okay, the first... No, the first one is supposed to be open. It's the right one. Okay. Yeah, I just confused myself. That's fine. Oops. Okay. The right one. So the right one has to be open. And I have the right one closed, so that's what matters. And then let's do that. Move up. This should be closed. Move up. Both should be open. Nope. Okay. I didn't fix these. See? Alright, there we go. Because the other ones were just open, open. Three and four were just completely open. And then five is closed. Cool. So this. Oh no! I didn't want to take the plant. I want to put the plant back. I want it to grow. There we go. Yay! Okay, yeah, I didn't have all the shutters open. Ooh. This looks thorny. Oh, it looked like a, it looked like a snake coming out. That was weird and cool. Alright, we did it. 
Now we get to move on to chapter four. The wolf glove grows in Mount Wisehorn, where the weather is just right. When the wind hits its tubular petals, a howling sound can be heard. Mountaineers are familiar with the flower and use it to navigate on foggy days. Hmm. Makes sense. Yep, next is chapter four. Oh, another gatehouse delivery. This is probably not the fastest way through my house, but whatever. I've already done it. I'm committing. I've committed to this. Alright. Yeah, this is definitely not the fastest way. Hey, what's over here? Something over here? Look, I have a little hat. I have a little sun hat there. That's cute. What is this? <clears throat> Good luck on your travels. I would have loved to join you like in our younger days, but your tales about the trip will suffice when we next meet. I will never forget the Maria Jackson passage you once highlighted to me. In examining plates, you take the authority of others, whereas in botany, as in all other things, we can make little progress if we do not, if we do not see for ourselves. Well, now you must travel and see some interesting specimens for yourself. I am inspired and look forward to hearing all about it. Your friend always, Eleanor. And my cane? <laughs> Walking stick. You mean my cane? <clears throat> nice little peaceful spot for her. Okay. That's cute. I just came right back where I should have exited from in the first place. Oh my god. <laughs> Did somebody deliver another key? <laughs> who, who has the keys to my house if they're messing with me like this? <laughs> nope. Not a key. It? I said it was a delivery, right? Is it, a, is it the paper? Yeah, letter from my sister. Okay. Dear sister, I'm so glad to hear you have returned safely from your travels. While you were away, I changed the code for the library door lock. Yep, there it is. Sis, why? Why you do this? Each time I visit it. Oh, no. As I know, some of grandmother's valuable items are kept in there. The new three-letter code for the door is the three initials of my name to make it easy for you to remember. I hope we can meet soon. I look forward to hearing all about your adventures, your loving sister, Elizabeth. Okay? Back to the family tree. Was it like Elizabeth Mary? Something with an A, I think, was their last name? Or was she green also? I don't know. Let's see. Well, I guess she'd be green, right? Because I didn't marry. Um, yeah. Anne. Okay, so... So it should be E-A-G, but just to be safe, we're going to remember E-A-H as well. Because <laughs> maybe your sister's not as crazy as I am. Or my sister's not as crazy as I am. E-E-A-G-E-A-H. We're going to try G first. E-A-E-E-A-E. E-A-G. Those are letters in the... <laughs> those are letters in the... That's probably not an accident. E A G. These are all musical notes. Nope. H. See? Her sister's not as crazy as me. Anyway. Yay! I can get it to the library now! <gasps> He's excited. Alright. Hello? Hello? Oh, it's the card. Ah. Thank you! Nope. Dear Lady Green, thank you kindly for the flower books you sent for my daughters. To this day, they still show an interest in learning more about plants and painting. I am keen that my daughters have access to a good education, so I hope you don't mind me putting, in up putting it upon you that you might be able to teach them somehow. Your dedication and knowledge seem so rare and inaccessible elsewhere for young girls like mine. I hope you will consider my proposal. Sincerest regards, Olive Campbell. That's nice. Mm. So I got into the library. Uh, nothing has appeared yet. So I'm not at level four yet, apparently, or chapter four yet. So we gotta figure out how to do that. Let's see. 
What do we got here? Anything? 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 No? Okay. In? Ooh. Where am I? Oh! Aha! There you go. Four of C. I was like, we didn't get... Oh, there's four new plants here! Oh, no. <laughs> this is definitely gonna take two streams. Maybe three. <laughs> oh, no. Not at the rate I'm going. Modern methods of teaching. It's a teaching book. Okay. Literally at the rate I'm going? No. <laughs> That's okay. It's fun though. It, it's it's definitely tricky. Some of these puzzles are like, ooh, okay. And it, even when like I knew what I was doing, it's like I get how to do this, but I'm still doing something wrong, which is crazy. But all right, where are we going? Where are we going? What's up here? More books? More library? Yeah. Love it. Love it. I love me a two. -so Look at this. This is this is a dream to me. This is a dream. I want this. This reminds me of the scene in Beauty and the Beast where she gets to the library. It's just like, oh, I want it. I want the library. I want it. I want a floor to ceiling library. It's the only way to live. The golden fish. One bright morning, a poor fisherman caught a shining golden fish. The fish cried, please let me live. I am not a fish, but a prince enchanted by a wicked spell. So the fisherman let the fish go free. When the fisherman's wife learned of this, she demanded the fish grant a wish in return for its freedom, a cottage instead of the hovel where they lived. So the fishermen returned to the shore, and the fish granted their wish. Wish fish. <laughs> but the wife was greedy and demanded riches, a palace, and servants. All the while, the ocean became darker, and the shore was black with dirt. Finally, the wife wished to be so powerful that she could grant wishes herself. In return for this greedy request, the fish revoked all of the wishes they had granted. After that, the ocean became blue again, the shore clean, and the fishermen never saw the golden fish ever again. Ooh. That's a, that's a good story. Be grateful for what you got. Okay. Uh, your company is respectfully solicited at a New Year's ball. Man, I wish people still spoke like this. That is so fancy sounding. <laughs> to be given at Somerset Hall. Wait, I gave a ball? Oh, no, Somerset Hall. Never mind. This is not. This is the Green Mansion. Never mind. <laughs> Thursday, 4th, January, 1860. Supper is at 6 o'clock. Good music in attendance. E. Grimes, proprietor. Scribble in the back. We oh, literally scribble in the back. Cousin, wash your hands in a company. <laughs> wash your hands in a company. Me, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> she just has dirt perpetually under her nails and like black hands from all the uh, from all the dirt in the crevices. And, really, wash your hands in company. Me, you won't find a husband at the bottom of the garden. I can't. Her cousin is sassy. Okay, not wrong, but sassy. That's funny. I love that. I mean, she even had a suitor and she threw his letter away. Like, uh, okay. Unless she didn't like men. I mean, that that could be it. She couldn't tell people because it was 1890. I don't know. Ooh, the tortoise and the hare. Everybody knows this story. The hare and the tortoise. At midday, a hare and a tortoise took a walk together. The hare moved quickly and noticed the tortoise struggling to keep up. The hare laughed and challenged the tortoise to a race. The tortoise accepted. A course was decided, and the race began. Everyone knows it, but I'm going to read it anyway. The hare immediately leapt out of sight, but then lay down to take a nap, sure that the tortoise would never catch up. The tortoise plodded slowly on, making his way towards the finish line. When the hare awoke from his nap, he opened his eyes just in time to see the tortoise crawling slowly across the finish line. The proud hare had been so sure that he would win, and underestimated the tortoise. As the tortoise crossed the finish line, he exclaimed, Slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> Always a good story. I love story with, with I love a good story with morals. Those are fun. Anything else? A lot of books. Lots of books. What's this one? Look, the Rising Sun. Okay, it's a book I can't examine. That's on a thing on a pedestal. All right. Oh, there's a little plant. I mean, there's plants everywhere. To be fair, I'm I'm botanist. That's sweet. Okay. Okay. Please excuse my crazy dog. Jeez. Did you finish or no? Okay. And we're gonna go down here and see. That made noise. Uh, I already checked this out. I didn't come into the bottom part of the library. 
What's this? Another book. Another story. Ooh, more stories. <laughs> this is story time, guys. This is story time stream. Did you guys know you were coming for story time? I'm not even trying to be a children's librarian, and we're doing some story time here today, guys. The Fox and the Crow. One evening, a fox was in search of something to eat for dinner. He saw the crow sitting on a tree branch, holding a big piece of tasty cheese in her beak. So the fox came up with a plan. He walked up to the crow and complimented her shiny black feathers. I think I know this one. I think I know this one. The crow was suspicious of the fox and kept her beak tightly closed in the cheese. The fox kept on charming the crow, describing her as the most majestic of all birds with a big, strong beak. Oh, what a song that beak must make. It must be the song of a queen. Please, beautiful crow, let me hear it. Flattered by the praise, the crow forgot all about her suspicion and also her dinner. So she opened her beak wide to utter her loudest caw, and why? I'm sorry. And down fell the cheese straight into the fox's open mouth. Oops. <laughs> I feel like I heard a riff on that story. I don't think I heard that one exactly, but something very similar. Oh, here's a puzzle. Oh, it's all the religious symbols again. Oh no, it's not. That one is though. This is the golden fish. Unless there's, was there another book with that? I'll have to go look. This is the golden fish. That's the rising sun, tortoise and the hare, and then the fox and the crow just now. Oh, okay. We got. I mean, there had to be a puzzle here, right? Like you don't unlock it, and then there's nothing to do, like other than read. Although that is fun too. But I was like, there had to be a puzzle. Okay. Um, that's cute. There's like a photo album there. It looks like. Oh, what's this? Oh, there it is. Wonders of the Night Sky. There's the other book. I didn't see it yet. Okay. Wonders of the Night Sky. Hmm. Puzzle, 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 puzzle. <laughs> Riddle me this. I have no idea what the puzzle is. <laughs> what the answer to the puzzle is. Okay. So. Hmm. So down here are the first and last ones. And then it was the tortoise and the hare on the left, the rising sun, and the golden fish on the right. Curiosity. Definitely not the order I read it in, that's for sure. Nope. <laughs> that was an aggressive no. <laughs> I love that there's a hidden thing behind the bookcase. Stop it. This is awesome. This is too cool. I love this. And I'm sure there's a hint that tells me which order to do it in. I, I missed it or wasn't paying enough attention to it, but that was, that was cool. But that's really cool. Let's, let's keep looking. Let's see. Is there something I missed? Is there something I missed? I haven't even found the, anything for the flowers yet. Is there something I missed? Let's see. Let's look around. Let's look around. Um, I'm rhetorically asking, by the way, just to be just to be clear. I'm not asking for the answer. Not yet. <laughs> I'm just... Let's see. Did I miss something? <laughs> Is it, like, big and obvious? And I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> let's see. So the book is here. Oh, wait. Wait. Hold on. Wait, did I find the answer? Hmm. Sorry for all the silence while I'm thinking. I'm just like, uh, I think I figured something out. I think. Let's see. I mean, 
one had an hourglass, and I thought that was like, I thought they all had hourglasses. There's hourglasses everywhere, but like they're all out of time. <laughs> I'm out of time. Oh no. <laughs> um. Someday in the book itself. No. That was an aggressive no again. <laughs> it really doesn't like when I get it wrong. <laughs> Let's see. I thought I saw something, but maybe I'm just crazy and I'm imagining things at this point. I don't know. <clears throat> so what my brain, my crazy brain was doing is um oh wait a minute <gasps> i got it hold on <laughs> hold on hold on hold on before i go with my crazy brain i think i got it i think i got it i think i got it <laughs> sorry the epiphany of like wait a second <laughs> okay so sun fish hair so far hold on hold on hold on Sunfish hair. Sunfish hair. <laughs> Sunfish hair, man. Sunfish hair, crow, fox, whatever the heck it was on there. Crow. Sunfish hair. Yeah. Sun Sunfish hair, crow. Sunfish hair, bird, night. <laughs> I got it. It took me so long to realize it was like time of day passing got it okay <laughs> oh more paintings wait a minute why is there a secret art gallery what is this sunset may 20th oh no more dates <laughs> oh no hold on may 22nd blue yellow pink orange oh no wait is it a color puzzle <laughs> really that was one of the harder ones that's sad, considering the flower took me ten times longer than that did. Oh my god, that's... Wow. Okay, go me! Yay! Thank you. Alright. I fr So, okay, so back to my crazy brain. My crazy brain was looking at these candles here, and I was like, oh, which is the shortest one? And go by, like, what's been burning longer, and that's where my the first thing went. And then I'm like, wait, some of them don't have candles like that next to it? So I was like, okay, how about plants? She's a botanist. Only a couple of them have plants next to them. I'm like, Okay, what the heck? Um, and then as I was flipping, looking for anything else, I saw the times of day. And I was like, oh, never mind. Got it. And you will not I, I didn't notice it as I'm reading it, obviously. It was um, just story time at that point. <laughs> literal thinking is starts. It is. Some, I guess so, yeah. I guess so. I don't know. I, I find literal easier, I guess. So for me, it was like, oh, it's in my face. Cool. Okay, so we got the nightfall seed now. Yay. I vaguely recall my grandmother studying the nightfall when I was young. Okay. So, there has to be, like, a lot more stuff. Okay, there we go. I was going to say, I have to get somewhere else, right? Okay. The study. I don't believe I've seen a room that says study on it, so I'm going to have to go look. But, wow. This is going to be a color puzzle, and I'm going to be sad that I don't have one of my old friends for this. <laughs> um... But guys, wow, uh, I got to chapter four. Uh, there's two chapters left, but this one chapter has four plants in it. Oh, we didn't look at the plants. Let's see. 
So we got the Nightfall uh, seed. We have to get all the... I haven't found any clues yet. I know there's some in this room. I'm not going to look at them intentionally because I am going to uh, look at the flowers and we're going to wrap up. But um, Sapphire Gloom. So mushrooms. Okay. Okay, the location of the packets in the study, which I haven't found yet, but I got the key for. So we'll find that. Oh, there's only two. Any little tiny clues for this one. Watch well, them be the hardest ones to find because there's only two of them. Um, let's see, the cradle fern. Oh, the master bedroom. Okay, I've not gotten into any bedroom yet. And brook chalice in the attic. Okay. I haven't gotten to the attic yet either, nor do I know. Whoa, that's a lot of clues. Oh my god. <laughs> and then, I, I don't know what the heck we're going to find in chapter 5, but it looks like quite a few. What is it? One, two, three. Three plants? Three, four plants, maybe? Don't, don't tell me, Linguini. I'm just kind of looking through it. But... Oh wow. Okay. That's that's so fun. Um my brain is fried. I feel dumb after some of these <laughs> versions. I no. No no no. Cor correction. C correction. I feel dumb after that one. That's where I feel dumb. Anyway. <laughs> this plant I would say it could burn, but it literally grows that way. So I can't even insult it. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate the views, the likes, the subscribes. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for coming in. I will be continuing this lovely plant journey on Friday night at around 8 p.m. ish. I don't want to say I say ish because I have to actually get to where I'm going to set up my stream stuff. Hopefully eat something. So I'm going to say 8 ish. Um, but it's Friday night. I can stream as long as I want. So don't worry about it. We will get still get three or three and a half hours in um and yeah part two this was fun this was so hard on my brain <laughs> thank you so much linguini for hanging out thank you for subscribing again i really appreciate it i'm really glad you enjoyed it even though you've already won the game and beaten the game thank you for hanging out and watching it again um so yeah hopefully i'll see everybody back on friday night and uh we'll have a good time streaming streaming late so thank you so much love you guys see you friday bye